Yeah, they've got it. They got it. Louis oh, Louis yeah. 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 Yes. I can't uh, believe we're playing. Lip read. <coughs> oh, yeah, sound, 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 sound. But um, uh, guys, thank you so much for hanging in there and being so patient. F in the chat if you'd rather we don't play D and D and just do charades for three, four, four hours. Guys, I have the idea. For, I have an idea for a Twitch channel. It was Sister of the Traveling Pants. Yeah, it was Sister of the Traveling Pants. It was Sister of the Traveling, the traveling Pants. Correctly. Gemmel got it. Oh my god, we did it. Oh, Live from well a computer done. that contains not just photons, light and vision, but also sound. Blessed manna right. to the ears, this is Dragon Friends. Somehow Oof. during that oh. trade game I spilled my tea. But I'm going to wipe it up with my pants. <laughs> Your travelling pants? Um, F's, F's in the chat if you want no more Dungeons and Dragons and only charade. Yeah. Yeah. That's what those people already F. Yeah. Oh, right. Nice. We have defeated Greg live on the Dungeons and Dragons channel. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine if charades became the new D and D and like Joe Manganiello was playing charades? <laughs> like, I've always been since I was a kid. I played charades, and I just really wanted to bring that to my audience. Like some buff dude on Twitter <laughs> yeah. was like, "I don't play charades." <laughs> you guys see that on Twitter today? Yeah. Yesterday, rather. He said that he doesn't play charades. That was pretty funny. And then Matt Mercer was very nice to him. Yeah, and then yeah. Joe Manganiello was uh, very aggro to him with his. Uh, <laughs> Abs in his uh, muscle. Yeah. I, yeah, I, I hope that that's the start of a beautiful uh, cage fight. That would be. <laughs> yes. That's what I would like yes. to see. Uh, a yeah. beautiful cage fight is. Should we? Uh, hey, chat. <laughs> uh, chat. Hello, we're the Dragon Friends. Uh, we had a, a few technical difficulties, but shall we introduce ourselves? Yeah. Yes. Uh, hello, I'm Michael. I play a high up warlock called Frizo. My name's Alex. I play a paladin tiefling called Bethany Smiles. Uh, my name is Dave, and I'm the Dungeon Master. I'm Aiden Lacey. I play Bushu, a dragonborn sorcerer. Mm -hmm. And I'm Simon. I play Kit, a big old kitty cat who's a mm -hmm. barbarian. Big old I'm barbarian. a barbarian. I'm a big barbarian. Um, and just we should also go around and say our kinks. Um, mine is tentacles, apparently. Al? Mm. Regular, <laughs> regular sex. Regular star sex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, very, very normal, vanilla, boring sex, and I'm watching. <laughs> oh, uh, Dave. I'm, I, I'm, of course, into cartoon squirrels. Yep. And I wear a cardboard box as underpants. <laughs> now, a fun uh, thing that you may not know about us when we didn't have sound uh, that you were missing out on is that we decided that we would eat jelly beans on... The cursed jelly beans! Yeah. No, never on again. Screen. The so, anti-sound jelly beans. I like to think that this is a kind of bonus ASMR level, that there's just <laughs> going to be a very... Q, who normally edits our podcast, does not touch this thing. He's been very clear about that. So, whatever. Some, one of the mods has said, please don't say your kinks in the chat. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Those are our character kinks, what by the way. What have we done, character uh, kinks? Oh, no, they weren't. No, that was your actual kink. Yeah, it was my This actual. is why we will never be influencers. I keep saying this. Or <laughs> um, if you're just uh, uh, tuning in for the first time. If you'd like in the chat to say what you're not into. No, don't do that either. Uh, <laughs> Um, so to, there's a towel. I'm just seeing that, like in the you know in the next room, you can probably grab. Oh, no, I'll do. I'll, I'll, I'll oh, the up towel. For the kink. a t-shirt. Clean those kinks up, um, kink influences. Um, oh, now, uh -huh. now, Dragon Friends is a podcast that's been uh, running for a few years, but this is our second stream, mm -hmm. and it's the adventures of. Uh, the the one of the original Dragon Friends, Frizo, Woo! and his new friends, ha, ha, ha. and their descent from the blessed plane of Elysium onto the hellish, sun-kissed plains of. You did very good. Yes, L. That was day. And, and if that sun that was kissing the plains was made of wee, yeah. the big wheel, big old wee wee sun. <gasps> and this is also the chance for we're doing a first look at Baldur's Gate Descent into Avernus, which is the new story adventure from Wizards of the Coast. Oh, it's a good one. And there's elements of it that you will see, but this is not a spoilerific run through. So if you want to play this, we're not giving away the main storyline. The dragon friends are in a, having a right old mess themselves. They. Uh, we didn't even really need to plan it. We just knew that they'd go and do something else, which is exactly hey, what's happening. Screw it right up. So, <laughs> Greg has said that we. Is Greg in the chat? Things. No, but so, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Greg says I got it. All right, look, we'll move on. We'll play some actual D and D now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Greg, I'm sorry. Please don't. Please, we, we've had a tough night, but we're here. And are we ready to play some Dungeons and Dragons? Yeah, yes, yes, hey, we as are always. Ready. Please send all your complaints to Acquisitions Incorporated. <laughs> <laughs> Check just before we start, there's still the macro works pop up, so we can't see the teleprompter. So if you could fix that, that would be teleprompter great. Teleprompter sounds like uh, we're being fed lines, just yeah. so you guys are clear. Yeah. Uh, well, what Dave means is, yeah. you can't read the chat. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I, I just, 
This is the let's kind just, of... Let's, let's just go and we can move <laughs> yeah, on. It's a weird energy. Yeah, yeah I know. I'm, I, I'm all heads up weird, on, on I charades. Don't know, I'm all silly. I ate too much glucose in bean form. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. Get us into it with some good voice acting, Dave. Yeah, 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 do it, Dave. <laughs> no, don't put a jelly bean in your mouth. You're about to do a spiel. Um. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> So, energy is weird. It is weird, though, isn't it? Like, we had no sound. And you know what? I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to go right into it. Yeah. Yes. It. All right. People Everybody. love it. People love us. <laughs> With a roar of powerful engines and infernal trumpets, the bearded devils of the Riders of Doom kick off down the dunes towards their destiny. A muster with the Maximus <laughs> on the field of bones. Now, rumors are swelling across Avernus <laughs> that a move has been made in the great eternal war between elemental good and evil, and that after many centuries, it is time for all the devils in hell to take up arms and drive the gods from the sky. I'm a widow devil. <laughs> I'm a naughty boy. I'm a widow devil. Soon, Ain't I a stinker? <laughs> the camp is empty except for Chucker and Clonk, the two kinku mechanics, and of course the beef babes newly arrived in hell and already feeling the heat. Oh, literally. Literally and also <laughs> metaphorically. Wow. Oh, yeah, that's the kind of... Dungeon mastering we do here, Dragon. <laughs> That's why Dad gets paid the big jelly beans. <laughs> <laughs> and yet I'm not allowed to eat them. It has been less than a day since you were spat out of heaven thanks to the treachery of the King Priest of Paylor. But you have been making something yourselves here in Avernus. You have two new friends and two shiny new Devil's Ride motorbikes to kick off into the night with. <laughs> now, can I... Uh, uh, no, I know this is very early on for me to... Um, Derail, but at the end of last episode, Dave, could not yeah. be earlier. Yeah, you were well. I mean, I could have done it during the charades portion of the show. Um, during last, at the end of last episode, Dave, mm -hmm. uh, I wanted one of the Ken Coons wanted a big juicy worm. The one Al was playing, she wanted a big juicy worm. Yeah, he wanted a big juicy worm. worm. I can't remember. Yeah, and I got a snake off the face of one of the people we just killed, and then like a bird would. Chewed it up, spat into her mouth, and it, you said that I was poisoned. Yes, those were poisonous snakes. We'd established that they were poisonous snakes. So then I would have been freezer would have been poisoned. Yeah. That was your that that was what you said. Yes, yeah, yeah. So you are currently this but, didn't happen in the podcast, but you yeah. are currently poisoned. Yeah, but but Dave. Yes, I said that I chewed it up and then spat it out, so I wouldn't have ingested it. Contact. So suck it, on that. Well, Dave, <laughs> freezer didn't have any cuts in his mouth. But if it was a highly poisonous creature... No, but I, would, I was... It's, it's, this it's is like fine. you rinse your mouth with bleach. You this don't die. The, you said you cut really? it off. Well, so, you do. I don't know. Now we've already established. I just want to be really clear because uh -huh. I think you're making a fool of yourself uh -huh. that these snakes were poisoning people by just like lunging at them, like attacking them. them. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum. So how do you, how do you think how do you think that works? They bite them. The venom comes out of the teeth. That's how a snake works. You don't get you don't get if you ate the back half of a snake. <laughs> where does this where does the venom come from? Do you think it's in it's it's, it's in a the little gland. It's, it's a, a gland, gland or it's a in the sack mouth area. Yeah. yeah, they have yeah. glands. So yeah. you chewed up on the gland. No, I chewed up. Big... I chewed up the back end of it. I'm not going to eat the head of a snake if it's poisonous. So what you would but, just but even then, but even then even then I didn't ingest the poison. I spat it into their mouth. Alfie, Alfie's Snake support. venom is not oh, poisonous you... by ingestion. Hey, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a bloodstream thing. It yeah, is so a bloodstream thing. I it? think you're poisoned, and I think you take 2d6 points of damage. Oh, you fuck. But I'm going to let you make a constitution save as well. DMs are mean. Oh, a lot of people think King is right. Uh, that's a two on the constitution, so I right. fail that. So you still... So I take three. Who here has not eaten the heart? I take, take nine points of damage. Snake. You take nine points of damage. Many of them can be consumed. Now I know that they're just playing us in the chat. <laughs> uh, you also have a name as well, Hing, as well. As well as a deep and crippling sense of poison seeping into your, your <laughs> very um, mouth glands. You also have mouth glands. Is that a? You also have a name. The uh, name you heard was Mad Moira, if you remember, which mm. is a name that it's comes that from a long time ago for you, but it is the name of the mother of Chucker and Clonk's scattered family, the Knucklebones Gang. Ooh. Now, you heard this name a long time ago in a kitchen in a castle in Barovia. Mm. Um, it could be a coincidence to hell of one if it is, but then this is hell, so who knows? Ooh, a mm. hell of a coincidence. <laughs> I feel like the spiel is less impactful if you guys point out everything. I like that it. I, I thought it was good. All right, it's fine. Chucker points out to the dunes, um, high over what you've decided is east. After all, navigation makes little sense without the sun. And says to you, uh, do you want to do Chucker? Oh, I might Chucker. Can be Chucker? He's like, that way. Our mum's camp. Yeah. Gonna ride that way in first light. Mum's waiting, and when we're not home on time, 
He doesn't give us any more worms. And she says, She'd make us go to our rooms. I just want to point out that he's <laughs> he jelly bean jelly bean quite clearly. Yeah, I know that was really, that was really poor form. <laughs> Made us go to our rooms. As, as the person who bought the jelly beans for tonight, <laughs> as the person most critical of everyone else. Yeah, it was a mistake. Show. Look, it's going to go down. Chucker points over the dunes high over what you've decided is east and says, That way, our mum's camp. We're going to ride at first light. Mum's waiting. I already did that line. Get some shut eye if in you a can. Better, uh, in a better voice. <laughs> Frizo is going to ask Bethany if she can heal me at all. Uh, well, the thing is, I don't really have my spell. I've only got my tiefling stuff since um, I lost my, um, you know, my but my symbol of Paylor. The paladins. But as a paladin, uh, surely you would have done some medicinal training. I can give it a red hot go if you like. <laughs> all I mean, right. Wait, are I we doing this while spell. on motorbikes? Yeah. No, no, no. Well, we, we well as you said, as Chucker, they're making out their way at first light. Oh, because we camped out. Mm-hmm. You can camp out if you're going to go with travel with them in the morning. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think that's the plan. Okay. Um, what does um? Oh well, I mean, I suppose I could, but I'd have to get my, you know, my my spells back. Is yeah, that so right? you can't. You're correct. You can't actually cast any spells without a holy symbol to channel through. You've Did lost that divine connection. Does well, someone have a holy symbol? Um, so no holy symbols of Saloon. I believe no, you have Saloon. a couple of them. Oh. What does the pale symbol look like? It is the symbol of the Dawnfather. It's a sun. Made okay. of we or regular? Look, regular. Sp- a spiky <sighs> cunt. This this whole um, adventure in hell is, has it's made me realise that I'm not really mad at Paylor. I'm mad at the king priest, and I, and I shouldn't get the church and my religion confused. You know. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I understand. I want to bring down the church. Like, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna make them suffer. <laughs> but um. <sighs> I, I just hope the Paylor will forgive me. And maybe if you just give me some time to find some stuff around the camp, I might be able to get my spells back and that help you out. That sounds great, but I just want you to know, time is not something we have. If, Don't you have some healing potions? Uh, I believe I have a hexa- hexachromatic potion. No, that potion uh, gives you back a spell slot. Uh, and I have a friendship necklace. Yes. Uh, no, I don't think I do have any. Is there, some, is there like scrap and stuff lying around, like bits of metal and? Not a lot. These you waste, you die in the wasteland. So they take most of the scrap with them. So is what like can a we tiny see? What can we see around? around us? Yeah. There is. Is there any trees? There's one abandoned buggy which they didn't take with them because if you remember, Chucky, Ch- Clunk, and Chucker took the engine, and there are the two motorbikes that you've been left with, and there is Chucker and Clunk are just sleeping in the cab of their own buggy. Um, but Do I also have some sort of vampire curse as well. You have the blood strife. Yep, that's true. No, a second one that made me sensitive to light. You, yes. I'm wearing oh, sunglasses. Yeah, drank I, something. I, I have sunglasses, so I'm wearing sunglasses. Yeah. Yeah, you did. As the this is becoming less and less of an issue as the night comes on, and in fact, as you take the glasses off, you realize that your dark vision has been sort of super powered. You can see at full length now, mm-hmm. um, as far as you would normally be able to see in the day. You can see at night, which okay. is not usual. Am I becoming a vampire, Dave? You've got to tell me. Do I have to? Otherwise, it's entrapment. Yeah, otherwise it's entrapment. (laughs) (laughs) All right, I'm going to go to the abandoned buggy, and I'm going to look for a cog, because I think a cog looks like the sun. Okay. That's cool. A cog. Yeah, you can find something in the fan belt um, where the engine, because the the sort of the... Front boot? Well, there's well, so I don't just, drive. I don't know if anyone's ever known that. Well, front, <laughs> underneath the bonnet, the front down. boot. The front boot. Inside the front boot, there's... A, to be clear, sorry, it's the their war machine that doesn't have an engine. Yes. So it's the it's not their... Did they take their buggy? Because that, that, that... There's also... They took their engine and they're sleeping in their buggy. Yeah. Right, but then we have the war machine. We have the war machine, engine, but right, we okay. doesn't have an engine. Yes. Yeah, okay, Which okay. essentially makes it scrap. But yes, you find... You can snap a uh, cog off the... Um, f- mm. the f- cars don't have cogs. No, no, no the but fan they... belt. The fan belt. Or, yeah. Also, it's just like there's the fan. Is would it have spines on it? That would look like a sun, wouldn't it? Don't. I'm gonna make my own one. Okay. <laughs> don't help okay. me. It's my own arts and crafts project. <laughs> <laughs> And does it look like, and is it one, and I choose the one with the biggest sort of cog prongs. Yeah, it definitely has a sort of a harsher, more kind of robotic yeah, feel to it, but yeah. you, can, you can see the sun and in I it. And I toss it up and it feels kind of good in my hand. Mm-hmm. And then maybe I go off privately to do a prey or something. All right. Why don't you... <laughs> make... Is that what you call it? <laughs> yeah, to do a prey. I'll be like, no one look! <laughs> okay, you <laughs> This start... is private! You start praying. And open the door! <laughs> and attuning yourself to it. If you stay up all night praying over it, I will let you consecrate it, but you will be exhausted the next day. If you know what I mean. <laughs> what? Consecrate? What? 
<laughs> She's up all night. I mean, praying. I'm... Yeah. <laughs> all right. I'm going to do it. Okay, so Bethany goes a modest distance away and starts praying over her cog. The rest of you can just... <laughs> what do you think she's doing? <laughs> she said not to look, so let's respect her. <laughs> uh, the rest of you, are you going to just get some shut-eye? The Kenku yes. are sleeping in their cab. Yeah, I'll sleep for four hours. Uh, you mean you're going to meditate? Yeah, for four hours. All right. Um, Kit's going to go to sleep. Yeah. Um, can I take a hit dice, Dave, if I meditate? Yeah, this is a short rest, so you can all take hit dice. Uh, Bushu. How many, how many can I take? As many as yeah, I want? You, um, you have time to meditate and take a short rest. That's fine. Bushu is going to sleep inside well, the you're Actually, machine. if you're going to sleep, you're going to get everything back. Oh, let's do that then. So this counts yeah. as a long rest. You get everything back? Yeah. Long right, long okay. right. Oh, back to 39, baby. So overnight, you, you, just can take a short rest. you just heal everything back and you yeah, become yeah, yeah. a genius? You, get, well, you, get, you replenish your hit dice. We never do that, do we? No, we do we that. a long rest. Oh, you don't make the decision to do it. I usually tell you oh, guys to sleep. Yeah. Uh, um, no, what, uh, what's the There's story? a question in the chat. Can Frieza actually meditate peacefully after all the things he's done? That's a good question. Yes. <laughs> yeah, he sleeps like a baby. Yeah. So <laughs> easily. like a baby. Sometimes. Uh, we are level six is like what on level it? we are. Oh, you can see our thingies. You can yeah, we have the our... D&D Beyond overlay, which I believe has been set up by Wizards of the Coast, um, in which case you should be able to see them on the side. <clears throat> Dave, do I also lose four max hit points because of blood strife at the end of the night? Yes, you do. So How I'm do down do to a... 30. How do I do a short rest four. real quick, chat? Just all you're going to need. You around. left yourself two, so you need to roll two of your hit dice, and you can get that many hit points back. But that was the last of your hit dice, so you won't be able to do it again tomorrow. Oh, when do hit, di- hit dice? Re- 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 then when do they come back? Every day. When you sleep. Yeah, cool. That's one, one and zero. That's ten. Ten. Yeah, so eleven. Okay. Uh, yep. Okay. So eleven hit points back. No. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, no. Freezo, you're the, you're awake a little bit before the rest of the Mars. Mm-hmm. You sort of walk around the camp. The mm-hmm. fire is now very well dead, and before dawn starts, you see Chuck and Clunk get out of their car and start pulling bits of armor. And the exhaust and you know the the gear crankshaft, just some parts out of the other buggy, throwing it onto theirs. And as the sun begins to crest over the dune, well, there is no sun, mm. but as, as the, the wee orb, ambient blood red light of blood red, blood red, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, I thought it was wee. It smells like wee. Oh, okay. I thought it was wee. I thought it was like a miasma of like. I am I th- a boiling plasma in the sun. <laughs> yeah. So you guys, you we guys can... pulled out cannons. So I guess you need to explain this to me. My understanding of Avernus well, is that there is no sun. Ben did it. Yeah, Ben did it. But I think that, there's that a lot of the sun was made of piss. There's a lot of chat about the Duke Moon, <laughs> 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 um, which I mean so the wee sun and the Duke Moon. Wee sun and Duke Moon. I don't like that. I do not uh, like that at all. You don't like the Duke Moon. We don't see that word very much, do we? Dookie? What? Dookie. In Australia? It's no, I only, I only talk about when I'm referring to the Green Day album at the same time. Yes. <laughs> it just reminds me of um, the uh, the Duke from the Gummy Bears. Dookie? Uh. Dookie Duke? He used to get called Dookie. <laughs> I yeah. think what I'm going to do to try and grab some sense of gravitas back from Ben <laughs> is to say that what you have been calling the Wee Sun is the sickly reflection of the river Styx as it shines off the side of that floating citadel that I said, which is really the only landmark. There's so is the river Styx made of Wee? I mean, I'm breaking... Essentially, yes. I mean, it is the effluvia of a th- of nine different worlds. <laughs> what a so, gross word. Isn't it a good word? Effluvia. No, he said gross word. You said good word. That would I mean, it's words. good. It's gross. <laughs> yeah, so, no, <laughs> yeah, I guess it is the, the waste and sickness of, you know, the wretched souls of the nine known <laughs> worlds. And as it shines... When you die, you piss yourself. It forms a sort <laughs> of landmark in the sky or sky mark above the land, if you will, uh, that mm. you can navigate with as long as it's not moving while you sleep, in which case you're all lost so and ha- fucked. So it's how much it's time well known that cartographers who try to map this place go mad. Do Will Chucker and... What's the other one's name? Clonk. Clonk. Will Chucker and Clonk be exhausted if they got up before everyone else? No, no. Okay. They're used to existing on a few snatches of sleep. Okay. Uh, the early bird gets the worm. See, you only came to this world. They were born into it, moulded by it, if you will. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> mm. <Yeah>, Batman? <laughs> um, okay, well, while everyone else is sleeping, Freeza might strike up conversation with the magpies. Uh, I guess we'll talk to Chaka. Or yeah, yeah. Clunk, Clunk doesn't talk for him. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is Plonk wow. poisoned as well now? Because Plonk ate the... Nah. Plonk, didn't, Plonk didn't want any. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm actually full. I, I don't actually feel like eating anything poisoned. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't eat much. Yeah. Yeah, nah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to have a 
a big yummy what? slug when I get back to my nest. Yeah. You like slugs? Oh, 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 oh. You like slugs? Like slug. Yeah, I'm into slugs. I'm more of a worm man myself, but I respect it. Do you know how to catch a slug? I hate these voices. Oh, oh, I like them. Oh, but oh, no, they're no. terrible. They're, like, they're good. I think everyone agrees they're good. <laughs> Yeah, these, these are awesome. meant to be two like wasteland warrior mechanics. Yeah, I'm a bloody magpie. Magpies talk like this. Uh, uh, now, what now, about champion like... footballer David Beckham? He's got a silly voice. <laughs> That's true. Right. Uh, Wait, does like... that magpie know about yeah, David it's Beckham? Like, oh, 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 yeah, I'm the former England captain David Beckham. <laughs> I would like to offer you a way for you to catch some slugs. Oh, go on. Yeah, go on. I have, I have a salt and pepper shaker. Uh, and this salt shaker here is full of salt. Yeah, go uh, on. And if you leave salt around, uh, you'll catch a bunch of slugs in there. That's bloody. Look, um, I wasn't. I may be young, but I wasn't born yesterday. And no, uh, that was me. I was born yesterday. Yeah, this is, this is <laughs> Luck was not born yesterday. <laughs> cannon. No, it's not cannon. <laughs> oh, I'm really fluffy. <laughs> oh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, you, I think you'll find that, that salt kills slugs. You, yeah. You yeah numb it doesn't head. attract them. It doesn't attract them. No, they go into it. They shrivel up. You got, you got a whole... Oh, I was like, oh, I'm a slug. I'm made of virtually all water. Oh, what's that over there? Salt. I wonder what will make me be tasty. I don't reckon, mate. Okay, well, I tried to make friends with you. Look, I want you to I'm not saying that. we're not friends. No, we... Did you try to make friends, or did you try to instill value in a trinket to make them owe you something? Well, I don't <laughs> know that I understand the question. <laughs> All right, everyone up, let's go. Has everyone finished their naps? Uh, <laughs> is Bethany finished yep. her prank? Yeah, you... You're finished, and you, it feels like the trinket has, sort of has a different weight to it. You're not sure what will happen if you try to um, channel your divinity through it but you feel like you've done the best that you can do with it. I feel like I want to um, change uh, the c- type of paladin that I am, though. Oh, yeah? Because so? I want to go... Because I, I remember when I... I, I want to go and do something like <clears throat> kill everyone in heaven. Wow. Well, <laughs> uh, well, yes, yesterday, uh, last week, yes. you said she was a paladin of revenge. Yeah. Well, there is a, there is a paladin of vengeance. Because I don't think that's what I am right now. I think I'm a... Um, I think I was a against violence paladin, which is why I always was warning people before I did did bad murders on them. But now I don't feel like that anymore. Uh, yeah, that's true. Okay, you were an emissary of peace. Yeah, that's the one. So yeah, you want I to... want to be an emissary of cutting up bad people. Ah, <laughs> uh, I get it. They're, uh, an emissary of Dexter. <laughs> uh, no, I don't. So uh, I, a real killing Eve. Is, is that it make me an oath breaker, or am I just an oath changer? Um, I well, there, those are home brew, home brew. Yeah, I want to be an emissary. Uh, uh, Chad, what's an oathbreaker? No, an oathbreaker. Evil ladder was. I. <laughs> um, there's, there's what did I do to hurt you? Why do we? You do... poisoned me. You literally. I didn't poisoned. poison you. You ate poison while I, I watched. Eat it. I chewed it up my mouth and spat it into the unwanting mouth of a bird called. Uh, <laughs> Somebody Tom. said Be- Bethany's becoming filmed. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oathbreaker is a thing. Anti paladin is is a thing. There's there also a paladin of vengeance. And paladin of vengeance is well, also. Give me that one. You want to be paladin of vengeance? Wait, what's conquest? No, uh, pal- conquest is, is another type, is another archetype. Um, so if you wanted to be a paladin of vengeance, we should Gimme. change. Let's let's change it on the on, on the level up. I think is how yeah. we'll do it. So okay. end of the episode, we'll we'll change the, the we'll change Bethany's. Not at the level up. We'll, next d- week. we'll do it. No, we'll do it when she levels up to the yeah. Next yeah no yeah, mercy yeah. for the wicked. This yeah. sounds like yeah. You know, I've just been um I I prayed um to my cog all through the night, and I just feel like that. Pronounce God. Oh, what did I say? Cog. Oh, whoops. <laughs> um, and I just feel like, I just feel like a lightness in my step now. I really feel like Paylor is in me and he's just saying like, you have to do this in my name. You have to go and destroy all those people who are making me look bad, basically. So anyway, yeah. Um, I just feel like, you know, just like how this cog is covered in grease, I have to get my hands dirty. Tell me more. Tell Paylor. me more. <laughs> <laughs> so, and with, as you finish saying that, there is a rumble of the engines, and Chaka and Clonk, uh, who <laughs> have put on huge scarves, of completely obscuring their voices for the remainder of the adventure. Oh, oh, come on. And, they, and, they, and they pull the scarf down because they don't want to be not heard, and they'll be like, Oh, I see us at Mum's house. If you get there before um, 
uh, Dookie, Dookie Moonrise, then um, she'll uh, there'll be bloody juicy grubs for all. Peace out, juicy grubs. Um, in the meantime, um, has there been any of like protective, like from the dead that have died mm-hmm. in the in the fray? Are there any like bits of protective clothing or like there stuff? Because I realise it's going to be pretty dusty out there. Yeah, there, so there was the big infernal hammer which Clonk already took. Yeah, uh, but the um, rubber gunt. <laughs> Such an awful <laughs> name, Eden. Uh, oh, I didn't want to have to say it again this week. Rubber gunt. <laughs> he had a big red cloak which you could wrap so to All protect right. your um, mouth and eyes if you want. You can see that the Kenku similarly are sort of wrapped in these big scarves. Okay, big red cloak. So who is um? So who's we got two motorbikes? Who's riding and who's riding um second? Um. Well, it makes sense. Makes sense for uh, who's the biggest? Makes sense for me to ride, bitch. Yeah, that's true. Oh, oh. 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 it's a time, Ray. It's, it's a time. Oh. oh, oh, no, I get it. Uh, Frizo's Frizo flew a spaceship once, so into the ground. <laughs> can he, can he, well, you, you don't know that. Uh, or Bushy might. Uh, Frizo would, like <laughs> would like to drive, please. So Frizo's driving one of the Devil's Ride motorbikes. Yep. Uh, wait, it'll... this is alright. We can't. We can't ask Bethany to not drive one though. I'm happy. To, about? I'm happy to do whatever. Okay, Bruce, get on back. Oh, I don't want to ride with. I don't want to have to be behind him. Come on, <coughs> come on. I don't want Blood to. brothers, uh, friends forever. Oh my god! Fine. Okay. Bethany, Fine. do you want to drive, or would you like me to drive? No, you can drive if you want to. But then, can we swap halfway through? <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> the turn system is the fairest. Of system. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So there's a kick. Um, of the engines and they rattle loud, like loud and angry beasts. Uh, they, they seem to have a bit of fuel in them for now as you grab hold, but you do also notice Kit and Frizo that in the center of the steering wheels, there's just a huge um, screaming devil's face in steel stamped on it with a big rectangular slot between the teeth um, that yeah. for, that's sort of a face staring back at you while you drive. The... To this gives me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> Magpie brothers point at a dune, um, and they go that way. Um, a, 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 that way, um, a day and a half's ride. Day and a half's ride. See at Mum's house. And there's a roar of the engines, and they scream away. Uh, all right. Well, let's follow them. Okay. So I need you. This is the first time you guys have ever. Re- um, well, it's not the first time Bobby, but Bobby's not here. So yeah, none of you have ever. Um, Driven a motorbike before? Have you ever driven a motorbike, Dave? Have I ever driven a motorbike? Do what you? do you think? I Using think, the context, <laughs> clues. I think we know you haven't because you said drive a motorbike, and I think normally people do tend to say ride. I once, I once tried one inside a parking lot, like a little posty bike, mm. fifty cc, and I hated it. It was much too fast. I don't like, I don't like, I don't like anything that's moving faster than it should unless I'm in a steel cage. Uh, when I was in year <laughs> six, I rode my friend's older brother's hog on their farm. And, Wait, uh, an actual pig? Yeah, no, 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 no uh, uh, what they call the hog, oh. it was a motorbike of sorts. Oh, you were using a and colloquial then the dad, and, then the, and then the dad told me I was too young and, and took me off it. But, Did you, you know, crash it? For one bloody moment. <laughs> it, was, it was a good three seconds where I went forward a bit. Yeah, nice. Pretty cool. I've ridden on the back of a motorbike. Before. Oh, did you? Ooh. Yeah, me too. I've done that. Who was yeah. who was driving? I was like a kid, and it was like some farm that some friends of my parents owned, and I don't know who the guy was in hindsight. Maybe my a James brother Dane? of someone. Yeah, I think it was James Dean. James Dean. Yeah, anyway, it was pretty fun. I got to tell you, I don't like to be supportive of me being owned, but there are. I'm getting a lot of shit right now in the chat. <laughs> I can drive a motorbike. I drive a motorbike. Which is fair. I don't. It, yeah, it's, see if you can catch. Is this? End, there's more than. These motorbikes, when it comes to sort of land-based vehicles in this adventure, and I want you to see if you can ever find subtle hints that I am not, as we shall say, a cowboy. So what? So what's, <laughs> what's the check to drive a motor to ride? To ride a motorbike? <laughs> you idiot! <laughs> what's all the right, check? All right. First of all, if you have proficiency of land vehicles, then you can add your proficiency bonus. But otherwise, it's just straight up decks. Who okay. takes proficiency? What is it? Strength as well? Sorry, no nah, man. No decks, strength. Decks for the motorbike. And what's the check? This is um. A, it's called a land vehicles check. No, what's the, what's the, what, what do we have to be? Oh, right. <coughs> For now, you just need to be 13. Ah, uh, fail. Okay, so your engine stalls and begins, the, the engine begins to flood as Kit roars off with his <laughs> red cloak, billowing behind him, leaving ah, Bushu. in my face. <laughs> get off. Yeah, I'm like, in his face. Bushu's like, get off, get off. Get off it I'll now. I'll roll you for it. Get off it now. I'll roll you for it. Get off the bar. I'll roll you for it. Get off the bar. What are we rolling? 
What's in your no, hand? I'm rolling you, Eden. Eden, I'm rolling you. You're going to roll me? I rolled a seven. What'd you get? I don't want to roll, Dave. I want to push him off the thing. All right. I'm rolling yeah, he's to push him off. Push. Nine. Nine. <laughs> push me off. Bushu pushes you off. Okay. Swings one serpentine leg. Kicks the... I'm not even going to make you roll. Get on. Kicks no. The, <laughs> kicks no, look, fair's fair. I'm going to roll. I'm going to roll. Here we go. Ken. Bushu. You can have advantage. Right. I've seen him do it. A motorbike. Eight plus two is ten. Fail. With advantage. advantage. Twenty. Two. <laughs> First one is a stall and then... <laughs> Does he go up on one wheel? Yeah. <laughs> and Freezer falls off. <laughs> Get your motor You tear around. away behind. Now, you're traveling away from the River Styx to, um, back the way that the Riders of Doom came towards an area that they had described as the Screaming Highway. Uh, but this is still a few days' ride to the... Again, I'm saying north, but again, you have to remember that it's completely abstract because all you have to guide you really is the position of the citadel. Mm. As you ride, um, the ground starts to get more and more broken up and you realize that your motorbike, particularly the one that you, Frieza, and Bushu are on, the engine is rattling in a way that is a bit unnerving. Also, the... Kenku brothers, the Magpie brothers, are regularly having to sort of slow down and loop back, and they're throwing you sort of questioning looks as the as the motorbike is really struggling to to keep pace. Uh huh. What it looks like? Are they like? I'm gonna just do an arcana check on the bike. Uh, it's eight plus uh, five is thirteen. Dad. Yeah, the bike is magical in origin. Hmm. Magic bike, eh? Do you want to make an investigation check? Oh yes, I would make an <laughs> investigation check as well. Uh, that's a uh, 16. The, Hi, engine, Jordan. Hi, the Jordan. engine is red hot. Hey, Jordan, in the chat. Hey, Jordy. Uh, engine is red hot, and it seems uh, like the bike is, the insides of the bike are not correctly lubricated, and it's running hot because it doesn't have enough fuel. Oh, I oh. see. It doesn't have enough fuel, but also, it doesn't have enough oil. It's, uh, it's hard to say because you're not an expert on the bikes, and nor, unfortunately, is your dungeon master. So, but it seems like it's an issue of lubrication. Mm-hmm. Um. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> um, uh, you seem like you want to say something, Alex. No, no. I'm just thinking someone mentioned Frushu fanfic. I wonder if we're going to sense any more tension with these two. I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, this is a perfectly nice thing for two friends to do, isn't it, Frieza? Yes. Yes, it is. Do you have any oil on you? What? Do you have any oil? Why would you ask me that? For lubricating the bike. No. Why, do you keep oil on you? Sometimes. I don't have any right now. Okay. <laughs> well, this has been a wow, what a conversation. Wow, and so easy. The erotic energy. You're right. I, can't, <laughs> I cannot let him deal with it. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, so as the um, bike crests over the dunes, it continues to rattle, but you manage to hold pace for now. This take means it, that it, the it, two it. of you have gotten... A, a sizable dis- lead into the, um, oh my god, speak, Dave. A sizable distance ahead, and I want now for you to make perception checks for me. Kit, you <laughs> can make yours with advantage because you're not trying to drive. Five. Seventeen. Seventeen. You notice something at about the same time that the Kanku brothers do, which is in the dunes ahead of you, rolling over the horizon, is what looks like a giant wall of sand reaching all the way up into the heavens with dark flashes of coloured light and lightning piercing through it at regular intervals and it's racing towards you. Sandstorm! Wait, not like a wall of sand? Like yeah. a moving wall of sand. Oh, a moving wall, like a sand... Yeah, yeah, great. Can we ask the Kenku what, what it is and what they normally do in these situations? Okay, you kick your engine forward and race towards them, leaving, it has to be said, Bushu and Frizo behind. And as you do, you can see that Chaka is pulling a small trunk out of his buggy and he th- throws at quite a distance to you, Kit, and, uh, and to you, Bethany, uh, to... 20. Sh- Hell yeah. You're not there, though. No, but I'm rolling no, for Chaka and Chucka. Clonk. They just go like... All right, okay. <laughs> In that case, <laughs> with advantage, I'll let you because he rolled a 20. Um, you need to beat DC 11. Uh, what's your what, dex- what's dexterity? The, dexterity plus two. Uh, do not. Ten. Ten. All right. So you get brained in the fa- in the face by two pairs of goggles, metal metal and leather goggles right. that fall to the ground, and you're forced to stop the bike so that um, Kit can reach down and grab them. Um, um, and as you do, Chocker stands up through the little air window, 
you know the car air window on the roof? Skylight. Sun, the skylight. Sunroof. sunroof. But it's a motorbike. It's a buggy. It's a buggy. They've got a They've buggy. They've got a buggy. Oh, right. Okay, yeah. Yeah. And it's th- called the Skyhole. Yeah. Skyhole. Thank you. It's, 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 See, why can't you all just be supportive and helpful like Alex? You know, in a movie where someone makes it big in Hollywood, they'll be driving down like the main street of Hollywood in a limo and they'll put with, their, with their head out. through the sky. No, no, yeah. no. Yeah. That's called a, a very long car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they'll be driving. Yeah, yeah. And they'll put their head out the Skyhole and be like, wow, I really made it in this. The big uh, Hollywood. Palm trees. <laughs> wow. Palm trees. Oh. Um, yeah, Chucker oh, and Clonk be like, um, um, oh, oh, oh. Ch- yeah, Chuck- Chucker calls out and he goes, um, glasses on, mate, sandstorm. Big one. Best to ride through. We stay and we're dead. And all, yeah. and all, and all you hear is, and then Clonk pulls a lever and brass demonic horns start to play to root sandstorm as as little nitro jets burst out of the back of their buggy and they lift off the ground as they crest the next dune and race at full speed towards the sandstorm. Are there enough bubbles and stuff for... Is it four? It's two pairs for the drivers. Okay, right. And I'm cool because I've got a nicotating membrane. <laughs> you keep saying that. How many times are you going to say nicotating membrane? Nicotating membrane. Nicotating membrane. How many times do you want me to say it, Dave? <laughs> nicotating membrane. Nicotine in the membrane. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, <sighs> at that point, because you stopped, uh, chug, 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 and then it sounds like a broken spring as Bushu and Frizo's <laughs> fucked <laughs> motorbike pulls alongside you. Yeah, not wanting to be, not wanting to be left behind yet. Um, rat. Um, okay. Wait, we so only got two pairs of goggles? Yes. The freezer wears glasses. It's fine. I have a nictitating memory. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, then. Freezer's got sunglasses on. He's fine. Then, um, Kit's, Kit, <laughs> then Kit's going to put on the other pair of goggles. <laughs> you do make it easy for me to fuck with you, though. What do you mean? <laughs> Nothing, never mind. Don't worry about it. All right, you're taking a pair of goggles. You're taking a pair of goggles, and you guys are going to just follow what was them. the leather things? Yep, so there's leather, tight leather straps so All that right, you okay, can straps. strap the goggles on. Got you them. are very thankful for your huge cloak as you wind it around your nose and your mouth. And I'm just going to bury myself into um, Kit's fur. Okay, so I'm going to drive? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'll drive. Oh, you're, not that was... those, you're not using those goggles? No, I am, but you said I could have them because you've got sunglasses. Okay. <laughs> Did you change your mind? No. Why, are they sand glasses as well? No, they're sunglasses. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, Dave, yeah. is fuck, there... Fuck, fuck, what's fuck, on the horizon fuck, fuck, fuck. besides the big sandstorm? Um, is there shelter around on the horizon? Nothing or? that you can see, just dunes and dunes and dunes. They did tell you it was two days' ride to Fort Knucklebone. Well, like, what are we going to do? Um, well, uh... Into the belly of the beast, my friend. And Bethany, All right, with, with her new attitude, kicks the engine. All right, uh, let's do it. Right, so it's like a bear this, hunt. This, you this. have to go through it. <laughs> <laughs> One for the parents of young children. Yeah. <laughs> so Bush is driving, uh, riding the bike. Freezer's in the back. Freezer's going to have his sunglasses on, but he's covering his, he's closing his eyes because he doesn't want right. to get sand Wait, in them, Day. Is he cuddling up real tight to Bush here? Yeah, is he got like, is he, is he like, is his body warmth sort of coming through? Yeah, I guess he would be. I mean, he's cold-blooded. He yeah. But he's a dragon. Well, who's, who's cold-blooded? Bushu. I've got scales, yo. Yeah, but you got the nice red cloak. You're in the desert. i got a red cloak. I, you if you touch the lizard in the desert, it would be warm. Yeah. Well, I've got also, don't dragons have fire in their cloak of many eyes. Some do, but he has acid, acid. I've got tongue. acid. It's reflux. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. He's a um, very gassy boy. The two of you right. on a motorbike, it's, and all you can smell is the sand and the engines and the reflux. <laughs> <laughs> as you... Ah, take a fucking like, lantern, He's just like burping out of the side of his mouth as he rides along. I think Bushu has little burp gills that just go... <laughs> right into Frizo's mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Blood diamond. All right. Okay, so, do I need to run to run my so bike? So you, you guys are riding as you brace yourselves, as you get ready to pierce the veil of the sandstorm. I need the riders of the bikes to make another set of vehicle checks for me. Right. Vehicle proficiency. Plus, plus dex. 18, yo. Very good. 14. 14 is good enough for both of you. So, the you race in, lightning crackles all around you, and visibility drops to almost nothing. Frizo, I need you to quickly make for me a DC 15 dexterity check. Uh, fail! Your glasses are instantly whipped off your face and disappear behind you into the storm. Oh! But Wait, I like them! Are those your magical glasses? No, no, no. Uh, I already traded no, those, those away for your, some soul coins. These are just your dark sunglasses? Okay. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, and you notice something which is thank which you're thankful for, which is that the 
vision, the way your vision had been adjusted by demonic echo has faded and your sight Ooh. has gone back to normal. Okay. So you don't actually need them, but now you are effectively blinded mm-hmm. in the storm. Oh, no, no. I did, I, 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 now, now I have, I put on the eyes of my new seeing then. You're going to take them out of your robe? Eyes of my new seeing? Yep. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. They stay in my bum bag, Dave. He can be taught. So, <laughs> yes, you pierce through the meniscan of the sandstorm. You immediately, as I said, visibility is cut down to almost nothing, but you manage to hold on to your bikes. The sound that um, Bushu, your bike, is making is now getting meow, meow. very concerning meow, as meow, it rattles meow. and shakes and twists. And you're making good speed ahead. And Bethany... Um, Kit, sorry, you're now driving. To your credit, you are doing your best to drive, I assume, in front of them to sort of help guide the way, or are you going to leave them to their own devices? Are you going to go as fast as you can, or are you going to keep slower? I'm just wondering if there's something that we can do if, like, to like ride next to each other and like hang on, like... Tandem. Ride in tandem to kind of... Is that, you're trying to turn it into a quad bike? Yeah, kind of. Um, we could both grab onto a javelin or something. No, but then yeah. if you go fast and we go slow, we'll just go around in a circle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Somebody <laughs> revert to your glasses as your only palatable trademark. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is brutal. This is the a nastier chat than it's been for a while. I think it's because we started off with... Um, it charades. It's it's charades really got them on side. You're adding charades. Um, okay, so we head towards the Pharaoh's tomb. No, I'm just asking. Are you going to go as fast as you can, or are you going? I think to... we're going to try and stay in earshot. Okay. I guess. Although I guess it's pretty loud in a sense. It's very loud. Ah, go earshot, have... earshot is close. Just so you're. Oh, do we have um? Do we have the stones of speaking? I got a sending stone, but I think it goes to Mother Bull Moose. Right. And it only has static since you left the plane. Right. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to do our best. Maybe we should do our you're best. Stay close. Just then. stay yeah. close. Yeah. All right. Great. So by staying close, that means that you have to travel at their speed, but it means that you guys can help each other a little bit more. So. Keeping the lead, Kit, you are the first one up, and there's a huge crash as a as a sheet of lightning bursts to your side, and it illuminates just before you hit it a dark shape about the size of an ogre that you're about to hit. Make oh. me a dexterity save. That's a 15. I get it. Oh, no, but I'm blinded. So that's 15, 17. 17. Kit, you hit the wheel as, as hard as you can, and you wrench... No wheels on um, even the handlebars? Yes. <laughs> you hit the ears of the demon. You do, do it lefty left. You turn it lefty for. You, no, do you lean? Is it like a BMX? Or do you turn? No, do you move my bike? Oh. I'm just picturing Dave gets on a bike. He stands on He's like, let's go. And then it just goes. <laughs> what I'm trying to do is make you seem really cool, but I'm not. It's not succeeding. Oh. It? All right. How do you can you describe it for me? I don't know what I'm doing. What I'm trying. I'm just you stopping. You dodge up. it and you look cool doing it. Okay. I just like. I sort of. Uh. <laughs> Twist the handlebars to the side and put my leg down and pivot and then like zip oh, around. Oh, did a cool Yeah, that's skip. cool. That's that was cool. cool. That checked out as right. cool. Bethany's like, very cool. <laughs> Which, the noise almost immediately lost in the storm. And now you're with advantage, you need to do the same thing. So what's in front of me, an ogre? No, there's just a shape about the size of an ogre. Oh, I don't want to crash into that. Uh, you're, yours is DC 15. But oh, with yeah, 18, 18. You also Crush manage it. to keep the bike upright as you go past, and the and both of you miss it, and the only thing that hits it as it goes past is your huge trailing red cloak <gasps> that's trailing behind you, and there is a buzzing sound that suddenly is pierces through even the sound of the sandstorm as the figure breaks apart, and you realize that it was a huge wasp about the size of a wolf that was holding up the body of a devil and sucking its blood dry and as it's whipped by your cloak angrily it buzzes into the slipstream behind you and is chasing the two bikes Did chased by a wasp, wasp in a soundstorm wasp, wasp the size of a wolf a wasp the size of a wolf eating a devil that makes it the size of an ogre <laughs> what the fuck man what fresh hell is this? Which means, Guys, this is wild. <laughs> which means we go into combat. So, um, I've got your initiative orders, and this is going to be a bit interesting because we haven't done this before. Kit and Busha, you're driving, yes. which means that really your actions are just going to be driving actions. To juke. Aha! You can tell me what you if you want something you want to do with the bikes, but if you want to do anything that's going to take your hands off the steering wheels, you have to be aware that that will crash the bike. Handlebars. Right. Well, well, looks like... Frizo has to kill the wasp. Handlebars. <laughs> yeah, Frizo has to kill the handlebars. I'm sorry. And 
Which leaves Bethany and uh, Bushu, you're going to... Sorry, Freezer, you're going to be killing the wasp. Yes, yes, I'll be killing the wasp, Dave. All right, but the, uh, the, I'm also going to give the desert an initiative as well, because the desert's going to be... Uh, the sandstorm itself is going to be doing things. So, Kit, you're up first. In this chapter, okay. the desert is a character. <laughs> <laughs> Bring its own... <laughs> sorry, sorry. It's like going Seinfeld. Henry Lipton yeah, interview. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, up, who's up? Who was up first? So me. So I'm just doing a motorbike check. Well, tell me what you want to do with your motorbike. Are you trying to lose the? Yeah, I, I'm gonna. If Bearing it, in if mind it, that if you try to lose the wasp, you're also effectively going to lose Bushu and Frizo. Okay, I'm going to. I mean, how far behind us in the slipstream is it? It's about sixty feet behind you. Sixty feet. 20, That's twenty meters. 20 minutes. So that's... Uh, so if we... I'm Within gonna, range of all the good spells. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to faint uh, left. Um, You're going to try and get it confused? I'm going to faint left and then try and get behind it. So faint left, go a bit oh, slower. Pump the and brakes. then sort of pump the brakes a bit and sort of come in closer to where You're going to juke it. Yeah. Excellent. Or make a dexterity save. Uh, that's a 16, 17, 18. All right. Uh, so yeah. Kit, um, holding on to the steering wheels of... Handlebars! <laughs> Um, yeah, he, he turns the big Turn. circular steering wheel of his motorbike as he... <laughs> You're just trolling your own story, Dave. You're trolling your own story. I know, but I'm bloody loving it. I'm I having mean, a great time. it would work. Yeah. The handlebars, it would work just as well as a... No, it right. wouldn't because you've got to... Yeah, dude, I've played Mario Kart. The steering yeah. wheel's never the same as All the right. controller. Yeah. Grabbing the handlebars, um, Kit reaches down to pat the front fork engine and identify both the transmission and the chain lubrication of his car before identifying visually his wheels, tires, and brakes are still where they were. And then he races... I've just got a Wikipedia page for motorcycle components here. <laughs> And the, you, the the throttle is engaged by the choke. It and, is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. And you successfully um, enrage the wasp, but you confuse it as well, which means it's going to have disadvantage on its attack. Wait, what do you think that I just said that I wanted to do? You wanted to faint um, left and then slow down so the wasp would go in front. Yeah. So I was like going to the left and falling and break behind it. it. Mm. So in terms of its forward momentum, that yeah. it would lose it. And because this isn't Looney Tunes, it's not going to just fly off and avoid you forever. Oh, it's not Looney Tunes? But okay. it, because it, the time it's going to take for it to compensate and come around. situation we're dealing with <laughs> Okay. It's, 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 it's disadvantage. It's okay. going to be slower to, right. to catch, up, catch up to anything. Um, and the next one up is Frizo. 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 Fri no? Frizo's oh. blind. <laughs> Why is Frizo blind? For some reason, I got a glasses. Never any glasses. But those were the sunglasses. Oh, yeah, wait, but your sorry, visibility, sense, well, visibility is down to about 10 feet. Okay, and so, um, but I don't, so I don't know where the, so Frieza can, doesn't know where the... You here still, and it's buzzing behind you, and just a moment ago, um, Kit's motorbike sped back backwards behind you mm -hmm. in a way that looks really cool. Okay. As a bonus action then, Frizo is going to uh, Hexblade curse the old um, wasp. Um, and then uh, it's going to ready it in action. Do you have to be able to see the wasp to do that? Uh, once per short rest, as bonus action, choose one creature you can see within 30 feet. Cre one creature you can see within 30 feet? Yeah, so it's within 30 feet. How, how far is one the wasp? One creature you can see within 30 feet. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, okay, Dave, I jump off the bike and kill myself then. Is that what you want? <laughs> yeah, is that what you fucking want, <laughs> if Dave? You could. I'll ready myself until the, until the wasp is in range. All right, excellent. So that means then that the next one up is Bushu. I think I'm just going to keep driving. All right, cool. You can, yeah, all right, great. Yeah, yeah. That's you, only, you only need a 12 to keep driving. So you, even with the troubling bike, you manage to keep distance. And Bethany, you're up. I'm really good at driving. Um, I want to, ha, so it's behind us now? It's behind you, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, what, are, what are wasps scared of? Well, actually, no, it's not behind you. Bees, it's in I think? front of, <laughs> you guys have now ducked behind it, is that correct? That was the idea, yeah. Yeah, so the order of the convoy, if you will, is Bushu, then the wasp, then you and um, Kit. Yeah. Okay. So I'm. Can I cast Aura of Protection? Is that a spell? Uh, yeah. You can. Um, oh, I think that's, that's always, that always has that. that's it's a just constant. The thing. Okay. Well, I grant all my friendly creatures within ten foot. So that's really plus four bonus to all saving throws. Just discovered that. So motorbikes are mostly done by dex saving throws, okay. which means that anyone that Bethany is riding with gets plus four. To oh, within 10 foot feet to their motorbikes, yeah, which right. would usually just be the one you're on, unless you're really riding. So, I just do that all the time. So, it's so your action that's my action. 
No, no, no. So that no. So now you can have an action. Okay, great. Um, I'm, can I hold it for later? Can I just hide for now? Yep, you can delay your action delay until action. when? Um, until it's within um, f- five foot. Yep, cool. Uh, so the wasp then, which flies in, it's got Pretty this. Pretty close. <laughs> What's the range of your spike chain? Ten feet. T- ten feet. So the make you're, it ten feet. Make it ten feet. You're unslinging your chain yeah, yeah, yeah. as you ride. That's a very motorbike weapon, right? A big yeah, spike it's chain very motorbike. Back of a motorbike. That's cool. Okay, the the hell wasp flies in at sixty feet to the um, motorbike that is still ahead of it. So it's attacking Bushu and Frizo first. No. And it, that means Frizo, mm-hmm. ten feet away. Suddenly, excellent. All right, so I'm going to cast um, Hexblade Curse on it. And then, as it comes towards me, I'm going to slash it with my um, with my longsword. Okay, I'm going to need you to do this with disadvantage because you're riding on the bike, back of the bike. Mm-hmm. Um, that's a nat twenty. Oh, that's a ten actually. Plus, um, plus, uh, seven, like so, like twenty ish is what I get. Because I get, I get three uh, for the hexblade curse as well. Yeah, great. Then that is just enough to hit. So, how much does that do? Um. Also, if you're wondering, um, Jordan has a good answer for you, Hing. What's that? That wasps are... Buck bug poison bug. type. So we're against rock psychic fire and fire. <laughs> <laughs> um, well done, Jordan. Wait, this, this doesn't have two weapon fighting. <laughs> yeah. Does that mean I can hold... Two, but longsword requires us two hands. Everyone can can use a second weapon. Longswords do more damage in two hands than they do in one oh, hand. Cool, cool, cool. Actually, sorry, I was wrong. I, I, I rolled 18. 18? Yeah. 18 just misses. Okay. So swing what? and a miss and the wasp. Oh, wait, no. Do you know what? It's a crit. Do you know why? Because the um, so- kit has juked the wasp. So you have advantage against it. I have advantage against it. So In you're 20. Case, it's a 20. Juked or duke? Yeah, what are you saying? Like ma- made him a duke? No, no, juke. J-U-K-E. Uh, stop looking. Stop thinking you can just look things up and prove them. Okay. Well, uh, let me just open up descent into a verse for you. Juking? Meaning. If the devil's ride is able to move, the driver can use its reaction to a grant the devil to advantage. Lead an appointment, uh, an opponent. Uh, okay. yeah. yeah. So I do three plus five plus three. So that's I know it damage. from the game Warhammer Forty Thousand. Eleven damage. Yeah, excellent. Eleven damage hurts it. It sort of screams in a awful ear shattering. Do the noise. Pierce. Uh, re- really? Do the noise? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> like that. Oh, uh, Dave. Yeah. Uh, I didn't know I had oh, that sound inside. Oh, that's yeah, a bad is, sound. Ah. That is a bad sound. But now, unfortunately, it has covered the 10 feet. And Frizo, it doesn't like the fact that you are attacking it. And so its stinger dives at you and it rolls a... With disadvantage because of the juke, 11 is the lowest. It rolls an 18. That's going to hit. That's going to hit you. Oy. All right. So it does D8 plus 4 damage, which is 7 points of, seven damage to you. And I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Okay. I'm just this guy's a heckin' tough, Dave. Yeah, he's a heckin' he's a tough boy, isn't he? Uh, constitution uh, 11. 11. Are you, you're okay. Then you are also poisoned. Again? Double po- Does one of them cancel out the other? I feel like he's triple poisoned. Yeah. <laughs> like wing on triple, a jellyfish? You're double poisoned and cursed. And it turns out paralyzed. Does a double negative make a, po- a double, double poison make it positive? Yeah, I that's the saying. Get bit by a snake, get stung by a wasp, then you're all better forever. Boss. <laughs> Boss. Uh, okay, well, I guess I'm paralyzed and I... Fall off the motorbike? Fall off the motorbike. No, well, I mean, how would you have strapped yourself into Bushu? You said that you were sort of like... I was just holding him around the waist, I think. But then I would have moved to slash with the sword. Oh, this is true. Okay. Um, Bushu, I'm gonna, I'll let you make a... S- if you wanted to grab him. Uh, if I can try and... This is a moment where Bushu's going to have to make a decision. No, that's fine. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'll try and grab him. So so I've got one hand on the... And I can like put my arm behind to, to, to grab him. How prehensile is your tail? Yeah, I'm, you'd probably be using your tail. I can use my tail. Okay, I'm going to try and... I'm going to try and stabilize him. You can just grab you him now. Stabilize him? Yeah, stabilize him. <laughs> if you succeed, like you're going to have disadvantage driving as long as you're holding him. That's fine, Dave. I always roll a 20. Okay. Only Molly, and it's a 20. Oh. And, uh, 13 is my dex. 13. So Bushu grabs you, and you're, you're, he sort of pulls you tight towards his mm. back as your face goes slams into his neck as his gills all. Oh, don't. Blast. No, don't kiss me. Ah. <laughs> I'm right. I'm pot- paralyzed. <laughs> hey, Dave, on Chris, you do double damage. Yeah. That should have been 22 damage. Oh, okay. Well, you did well then. Well done. I'm very impressed with you. Oh, 
Oh, how does that feel? You did really good. Get Dave's approval. Congratulations. Feels gross. <laughs> Feels like and then it attacks you, Hing, as well with its talons, but it it's misses with its talons. Talons? And talons. It's claws? got talons. Why would it have claws? It's a It's what? got sword the hell talons. Claw. Hell, Where? Hell like wasp. at the on the end? So it it got yeah, it was got you with the stinger, which was on its bum. Okay. And now bum it's knife? Lash- Oh, does it does it stinger rip out then and it dies? No, that's no. a bee. Yeah, right thinking of a bee. Fuck. And then it lashed with its talons, but it missed. Bees have honor. And at that <laughs> moment, many people say that of course what lurks inside the sandstorm is the true threat, but the sandstorm as well contains threats of its own. So all of you uh, that was was my, that the wasp talking? That was my dog. Yes, that was the wasp talking. <laughs> in the B movie, is it ever in in the B, is it ever dealt with with the fact that if Barry B Benson stings someone, B will die? <laughs> <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons, Dragon Friends of Ernest. But every time they say wasp, we replace it with the entirety of the B movie. Um, um, okay, so what are, sorry, what are we doing? What is the deal? <laughs> no, so what is the there? Deal? What I, the point I was going to say is I there is a her. peal of thunder. And all of you... <laughs> with, like, yeah, they do speak about that the movie. <laughs> with the exception of King, who is paralyzed and frankly has enough going on, oh, I boy. need anyone who isn't paralyzed to make for me a DC-12 constitution check. I'm sick at constitution checks, Dave. 23. I'm, I'm so constitution. Yep. Uh, I got. I oh, do no, two poos a day. That's how good my constitution is. Is that what Bethany says? Is that the good amount? <laughs> is that normal? Is that right? That's a good normal amount. <laughs> I do two poos an hour. That's how good mine is. Whoa! I got an eight. You're a powerful wizard. Kit, <laughs> 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 Bethany, and Bushu both um, instinctively sort of clamp their hands on their ears and cover it. You, however, take the shockwave of the thunder and you take two d six points of damage. Oh my yatsy! But you are also deafened, which means that you now cannot hear. Okay. Is that what deafened means? How long will that last? <laughs> <laughs> oh, not long at all. Only for about... Okay. It's ringing in your ears. It'll be last right. for three rounds. Okay. And How does that sound? Eee! So Ooh. when you say 2d6 worth of damage, I have to roll them myself. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. All right. I think I can do it. That's a five plus one. You can one. roll two six. dice? I'm just asking. I, sometimes you no, do the rolling. That's, sometimes yeah, I, I forgot to put dice in front of me. It's like, do you want to just give me the that's big okay. jar of... Um, Jelly beans? No. <laughs> Fair question. Wait, there are more jelly beans? Can I, no, I put the, I took the jelly beans away from us. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm going. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? Why dice, can't dice, we just dice, dice, play dice, Dungeons dice. and Dragons? I put it, I'm taking see. a photo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There you go, Dave. I as many just, dice as you like. Why, then this one. This one. And this one. And, bo- this bo- one. Bo- and that was the last time. <laughs> acid rain pours history. down on you. Guess what? The, li- the thunder means that there's <laughs> acid rain. Everybody make for me. Uh, oh, what's to say from acid rain damage? No, you know what? Lightning bolts. A lightning oh, bolt. Oh, no, no, no. We get a plus four bonus to our savings, right? Do you, you think do. the uh, oh, lightning bolts would fix the bike? Yes, you were on Bethany's bike, so yeah, you, you're not deafened. Sorry, what was oh, that? Right. Would the lightning bolts fix the bike? The lightning bolts don't fix the bike. They give them extra power. Kit, you're up faster. next, and you're correct. You're not deafened. I can't. Bl- I can't use my computer now. I can't use my computer. Yeah, well, now you can't. Now you can't look All up. All right. <laughs> okay, boys, that's okay, enough. Okay. You have an eye out. Now you can't look up all the answers (laughs) to tell me I'm wrong, Just put them in this lovely tray by Wormwood Gaming. (laughs) Okay, Dave. Yes. (laughs) Did you want us to make a... Did you want us to make a saving throw against something? <laughs> it's Kit's go. No, no, I was, I was. Before just, you chucked your toys, I, there will be more. The he desert didn't has his toys, didn't he? <laughs> the sandstorm. Will <laughs> to be come. fair, he was provoked. <laughs> <laughs> he asked for dice, so I gave him some dice. Dave's taking his dice and he's going home, <laughs> which unfortunately <laughs> right here, yeah. uh, it was true. Uh, oh. oh no! Uh, uh, okay. What am I doing? What are we doing? You are, it's your turn now. Okay. You're not deaf. You didn't take six points of damage, but the wasp is now in front of you, and you can see that it has just stabbed so Frizo. I'm going to zoom up ahead to get as close to it as possible. You're going to bring Bushu range. into range? Yeah. Yeah. All right. You, but you want to get, how close do you want to get? Oh, uh, I would say I want to get a sweet five feet. Five is, feet? Yep. Then I need you to just make for me a DC 11 check. That makes it. Yeah, excellent. So you bring the bike alongside. And Frizo, make for me another constitution check. Come on, constitution. That's 19, baby. Plus um, you're, 20, poisoned. 20, you're poisoned, so with disadvantage. Oh. Uh, 
But uh, that is a but one. Is, are we now close enough so that Bethany... It, it, you are, but it's a one. All oh, right. Yes, okay. at the moment, it's worth remembering you're within 10 feet of each other. 10 feet of each other. So you get plus four to... Plus four to your saving throws, okay. everyone. Great. Okay, Word up. so Frizo, you're still unfortunately frozen and you're creating a big drag which is in danger of toppling Bushu's bike. Bushu, you're up. Um, so the wasp is behind me. How far now? There is now the wasp is sandwiched between the bikes because it's attacking Frizo on the back of yours and Kit has just expertly come up behind it and you're oh. travelling in a very tight convoy. Can I chuck a little glob of acid at it? Yeah, you want? What could go wrong? But you're going to have to... T- so you're driving, so you're going to have to... Yeah, so I can just be like, huh. Okay, but there's a good chance that will hit Kit, but you can do Uh, it. mm, What if I just jam on the brakes so then I'm behind the wasp? Okay, so again, you're here on your bike. Yeah. Then there is the wasp. Yeah. And then there is another bike right behind it. So if you jam on your bikes... Oh, they're going to donk onto me. Yeah. So you've got to swerve a bit and then you've got to juke. I got a juke, Dave. I, I take the juke action. Okay, with disadvantage because you're trying to keep Bush. Uh, you're trying to keep Frizo. Juke. Ooh, Ooh. six. <laughs> the hot six on that juke. Snap decision. If you yes. abandon him, you can get around behind. Otherwise, the bike goes and topples. If I abandon Frizo, you, you let you're holding onto him with your tail. At yeah. The moment. Yeah. If I let go of him, then you can keep the bike upright. Then I'll be fine. You're spinning out of control. We could scoop him up behind. Uh, no, but they'll probably run over him, right? There's a chance. Ooh, do, 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 do. What would Frizo do? It's not a good question. I keep driving. <laughs> okay. So you, you, you start to lose control. You throw Frizo over the side and you manage to ride the bike and keep going. Yeah, but I want to, I want to turn the bike around and go back for Frizo. Yeah, you're still looping around. Yeah, you're yeah. not like trying yeah, yeah. to escape. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to uh, try and go back. Do I take damage after falling off a bike? You do T6. Oh. I'll roll it for you. It's fine. So I have lo- no, I have lots uh, of dice. I rolled a one. <laughs> okay, yeah, I rolled a four, so you take four points of damage. Oh. Bethany, you're up. All right, um, I'm going to cast Branding Smite on my um, spike chain. Yep. And I want to kind of... Um, oh, we, did we forget to have your action when it came into range? You should have... You came in the oh, moment... Oh, yeah, came, the moment we came into range. So you can actually do two actions. Yeah, so you this, can do one pre Frizo falling off and one after. That's true. So... Mm-hmm. Oh, right. Yes. So Don't forget you can do two We'll just, yeah, we're without getting... A yeah, yeah. Too well, confused. That's, too com- that's confusing. Let's just leave Frieza. Um, no! <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I want to attack um, its, like, the base of its wings. Yep. Like, I want to wrap around its wings so it falls out of the sky. Mm-hmm. Um, and then um, I want to... So, I, that is that one action to grapple it, I suppose? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're trying to do basically a trip attack on it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. All right. So make an attack for me. This is not... The aim of this isn't to do damage. And I'm going... So you're going to need to beat... Uh, An attack actually, but you'll need to beat 19. Oh, I only got 17. Um, You have plus 40 roll? No, that's for saves. Okay. Um, okay, but do I get uh, but I get another go, don't I? Don't yes. I get yeah, yeah. two? So I can, I'm just going to try that again. The first one fails. You get two attacks anyway because you're, yeah, you're a paladin. Yeah. Oh, that got a four. Okay. okay. No, nah, fail. So, yeah, what you're trying to do is quite tricky and it's big and it's fast and yeah. it's flying. So you don't quite succeed and then the wasp comes and it escapes and it dives on, it sort of tears off you as soon as you're going past. You've got a reaction as Frizo's body goes past. But also, does does Bethany just get two goes in a row then because she's got a delayed reaction, a delayed go, and then her other... No, go. no, so she'll she'll get her next go soon, oh, okay. but it will be next in the action. Uh, next, okay. It goes now in the initiative order. So, um, so I'm going to... I'm going to, l- l- like, try and lean and, and, and grab Frizo. I'll leave you to that as a reaction. Uh, that's, a, that's a seven. That's a seven. That's no, no. Plus not a, four. Plus what is that? Not plus four because it's not a save. It's not a save. But what, uh, what's the... What's it? Dexterity, surely. Dexterity? Dexterity? Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's a nine. Dexterity. Okay, so as soon as Frizo tumbles past, the wasp disappears. It sort of races away from you and follows Frizo's cartwheeling body in the sandstorm and whips away. And you suddenly realize that you are free to keep going if you want because the wasp is chasing Frizo. Oh, boy. Or, of course, you can turn and go back. But he, the wasp is, is interested in the paralyzed target, not in the three of movers. Okay. Well, we can't abandon a bit. No, we're gonna I mean, we could. Back. Why don't I... Uh, I, could, I could get um, my goat to go and rescue him, maybe. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, Stevesy? Well, Steve I, could, I could call Steve and ask. You haven't called Steve yet, yeah? Did we try calling Steve in hell yet? I can't remember. We tried, call, yeah, yeah, no. we tried calling some. We oh. tried to uh, get a, get our, one of our horses going, but they're Those regular are, horses. Oh, yeah. Exactly, yeah. They're not celestial beasts. All right, so um, I yell, goat float. Okay, you yell goat float. Something there is As you yell, it, there is another strike of lightning, and all of you can see, see this. But your white charger, Steve, do, which was like a mountain goat, yeah. doesn't materialize. <gasps> In, but something does in its place. There is a huge black stallion who's, which seems to have flames coming off its hoofs and its mane and its tail, and its eyes are there's this sort of fire coming off of its eyes as it's running alongside you. Gimme! Is it is it the same? Is it the, it's not is it the, is it the inward Steve or is it like is there Steve inside it or is it a completely different entity? Uh it's so Steve is a. Do you remember if if you think about for instance? Bushu is a familiar. What's happened to your faith and the fact that this is happening now in in hell has given you access to a new character. So it's a different type of Steve. It's not the same person. Do you want to play them? Sure. Get sexy. That's Alan. That's not Steve. That's Alan. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A, dar a dark, powerful, comfort, sexy energy, if you would, please, Simon. <clears throat> Bethany. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> And he, if you remember, your I've horses, eaten, were, yeah. your horses couldn't cope with the ground of Avernus, but his char, you know, his flaming hooves, he has no problem riding alongside, even through the sandstorm. May I touch you on the neck? <laughs> You're the boss, Miss. Ooh, oh, don't like uh -oh. that. <laughs> uh -oh. Is he a slightly probo horse? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is your slightly probo nightmare. Uh, okay, actually, I'm fine. Um. Right, there's a sub. Uh, what's your name? Uh, quickly, what's, what? What? what uh, sorry. Um, by which name should I call and you? And he says, um, "I have no name. That is for you to decide." Yeah. I could have said that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can we call him Stud? Stud um, the horse. There's a lot of Allens in the chat. Yeah, what's the name? Alan. 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 <laughs> Alan. 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 Um, no, I what's should. The name of the hot priest from. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will call you Flame Hoofs. <laughs> <laughs> the more meanest name I can think of. Of, of Fluffs, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Fluffs! He looks like he was prepared to have any name, and he really struggles to deal with the fact that his name is now... Yeah, Flame Hoofs. That's really... I, 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 I like it a lot. He, he's a goddamn professional. Yeah. Fluffs. Fluff. Fluffs. Fluffs. Floofs. So Floofs is, as I said, riding right alongside you, keeping pace as you are currently still flying away from the Wasp and Freezer. Can I have a go on the horse, Dave? You absolutely... Floofs looks like he was made to be written for you, written by you. Floofs, I'm going to get on. Okay, sweetheart. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh he's an evil horse. <laughs> he's, he's an old-fashioned right. horse. <laughs> he's old, he's um, I do a really cool move to get onto the horse. Make it... Yeah, cool. Make for me... A, with advantage because Fluffs is helping you. Um, you just need to make a DC 12. If you're just Ten tuning yep. in, the Beef Babes, a motley crew of adventurers fallen from Elysium into Avernus, uh, stuck in a sandstorm, uh, being chased by a deadly wasp who is very mean. And big. <laughs> um, and I, I, gr I do the flames hurt my hands or is it okay? No, they lap all around you, but they don't seem to give off any... Um, it feels hot, but not burning. Nice. Um, and I say, uh, we must go to my friend, Frizo. And da, 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 da. turns around and rides back into the store. As you command, mistress. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh where's Steve? <laughs> All right. So um, you, the storm is starting to die. Are you, does the, wait, what, what's happening with Bushu? Oh, um, and he, Kit. He, he rode off into the sunset and lived happily ever after. <laughs> so we're looping the bikes around to. Yeah, we're looping back towards. Oh, so you, you're just, you've just broken off into three bikes, but you're all looping back. We're looping yeah, back like towards Freezer. Looping back around. To... Oh, right. you guys can go, and I can try and just rescue him, and you guys can try and get out of the sandstorm. No, because then we'll get separated. We'll yeah. get lost. Yeah. Also, you can't see me on my new horse. Can we see the flames through the sandstorm a little bit? Yeah, you can. Okay. In fact, it's easy to navigate with Bethany so as long as Bethany good. leads. This is epic. Bethany's on a flaming horse, and there's just like purple lightning being like. All right, Bethany, cool. you're going to need to actually make for me the survival check to find 
Freezo because its visibility is shot. The others will be able to follow you easily. Uh, I got a one. What about my fire eyes? What about Floof's? What about my Nick? Floof has, what about has, my... has, has uh, like powers to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, but Bethany, okay. Bethany, Floof follows is, me. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, can, it's I'll a give you advantage poorly. because of his fire eyes. Yay, twelve. Twelve. Okay, twelve is still not enough. So, Frizo. This, this, a trample freezer. Yeah. <laughs> the storm. All right. <laughs> the storm is starting to die down. Um, it seems like you did. The Kenku were right. The, the safest thing to do is to ride through the front of it um, to break through it. So you, as the storm, the storm starts to clear down as you get closer to the eye. But so this is only the center of the storm, allowing you to okay. slow yeah. slow down. It's very quiet and tranquil here, but. It seems like there's walls of wind on all sides around you, and you slow stop slow down to a canter and then to a trot as you realize that you can't see your friend, Frizo. And the three of you all slow down as it has to be said the broken motorbike stutters and finally its engine just shits itself. <laughs> And if you can imagine the oh, God. oh that was so bad. <laughs> the camera tracks. If you could imagine the camera tracking up over the three of them <clears throat> as they find themselves in a desert, and Frizo and the wasp are nowhere to be seen. Now, Frizo, you wake up, and you are standing on a comp- sandy shore. It seems freezing cold, empty. Sandy shore. Sure, yeah. Like a like a, a lake of ash. Is there a river of piss nearby? There is not a river of piss. Let me build something. I am begging oh. you. Well, I, thought it, I thought it could have been the river of sticks. <laughs> no, there doesn't seem to be any landmarks you can't see. Even the citadel has got, gone from the sky. It is just a river of ash all around you. And do I see a wasp nearby? There doesn't seem to be a wasp at all either. There's nothing in any direction and you're standing there. Um, in your clothes, and you look around, and you can't even see the wounds and puncture marks from the. Um, How do I feel? Very unsettled, but not poisoned, not paralyzed. Is he dead? Oh my god! Are you in heaven, freezer? No, I mean, we don't have the freezer. Try and do a shit. Heaven. You can't do shits in heaven. Okay, freezer tries to shit <laughs> into the river of ash. <laughs> a voice. You suddenly hear a voice behind you, and it says. Little one, you are far. It's <laughs> super flare. The voice goes, "Little one, you are far." What are you doing? Uh, nothing. Are and you Frieza... doing a shit? No, I was. I, I, I no. You oh. I th- I thought I wasn't sure where I was, and I remembered that um, you can't do a shit in <laughs> heaven. So I was gonna give it a go to see if I was in heaven. Hi, who are you? I'm Frieza. Who are you? Huh? You turn around, and there is a shape in the <coughs> in the wind of a horrified <coughs> face of a giant. Devil, um, just just the impression of its cheekbones and its eyes in sort of full Simba's dad mode in the sky as it looks down on you. And it is horrified, and it's I. Oh, gross! Um, no, I didn't do it. I was just gonna. Well, I didn't. I mean, could you just put your? Uh, no, no, not that. Could you put your pants back on? Oh, oh. sorry. Yes. Is that your? Is that your? Chongus, it's very normal. All right, back on. Hmm? Look. Hello, I'm Freezer. Let's start this again, <laughs> shall we? Let's start again. I roll to restart the. Oh, is that twenty day? A twenty. We're Ooh. restart. So that's a. So let, let, I guess it's a charisma check. <laughs> Little one, you are far from home. You turn around and you see the impressions of a face high in the sky above you. Uh, it seems he's just willing to go along with it. Wink, and I won't try to shit myself. How are you? Yes. Well. <laughs> You are dying. Do you know this? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've, uh, man, I'm, I'm double poisoned. You I've got that blood strife curse. For a while, I thought I was a vampire. And then to top it all off, I, I'm not sure if I can pass movement through my bowels. So that's another. That's, that's going to keep me up all night. I don't know if that's. Fuck. All right. Yep. Yeah. I'm dying. Yeah, I know I'm dying. You have the fortune to address. Lyrixia of Styx, one of the arch devils of these plains. Hello. Do you know why I do you this kindness? I do not, but I imagine it's because if you're a if you're a Styx devil, you probably like collecting them bodies. And I reckon I've paid you a 
a heftier sum of bodies over the years. And per- perhaps... <laughs> Frizo has such good self-confidence. <laughs> perhaps. I'm, I'm just getting... You asked me. If you, if you didn't want me to guess at the question, you wouldn't have asked <laughs> I think I'm just I'm just grasping at straws here, but I imagine I've racked up quite the body count. You're grateful, owe me a favour, and that's why you're doing me this kindness. What is the kindness? I could do you a kindness. I could um, help you from this predicament. I could help you be found. I could help you find yourself to a place where death will not come for you, but I will want something in return. Happy to do it. Always a very mercurial person I am. What would you... Well, this you... will be easy then. <laughs> and his uh, mouth opens and his tongue unfolds and unwraps and coils down to you. And it's this... Like a like a horny dog in a cartoon. Yeah, just like a horny dog in a cartoon. And it's this huge <laughs> hover, hover. parchment falling 100 feet towards you. Flubbity, and it flubbity, flubbity. And flumps down and you can see just small infernal writing in, a lang- in infernal text going 100 feet up to the air and at the bottom it says so undersigned and then there's a line and then bleh, a little a little quill sort of yep. tumbles out. Well, you tell me what I need to do and I will, ha- will most likely happily do it. That's fine. You just have to sign it. <laughs> no, no. Well, well, tell me what it is. What am I agreeing to do? And he speaks it up again and he says, it's simple. A geese, you will perform a service for me. A geese? Yes. Guys, is it pronounced guys? I think so because there's a good comic book called Guys. Okay, well, what? Uh, well, well, the, but the comic book doesn't tell you how to pronounce. It does. It. <laughs> uh, oh, really? uh, well, yeah. What, what is this small? What is this small service? If it's killing someone, happy to do it. Um, as it happens, it is not. It is a very simple service. One will come requesting your aid in a few days' time, and you will not help them. You will turn your back on them, and you will walk away. Ooh. That seems well within my ability and character. So, yes, Frieza signs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, as you sign, Frieza, you're suddenly aware of a pain, a jolting pain in your stomach as the as um, the archdevil's laughter resounds around you. And as you Wait, pa- why are you laughing? And as you pass out, you realize that you are being dragged somewhere, but you are still mercifully alive. And the th- at that moment, we go back to the three of you who are standing in the center of the storm. So did that heal my poisons and my curse? It did, but it, you know what the blood strife? It healed your poisons. Oh. But you have been taken somewhere. I, I kind of signed thinking that I was getting rid of the <laughs> curse as well. <laughs> well, you should have read it, man. <laughs> Take it up with Devil Court, man. <laughs> you should have called uh, a lawyer. If only this you week one. on Devil Court, <laughs> the plaintiff alleges... <laughs> His soul was taken. Um, and now as the sandstorm has cleared, there is um, you, can see, you can see a little bit more of the terrain around you. And suddenly there is a break <coughs> in the storm and a... Gesh, Irish. <laughs> gesh. Gesh. There you go. It's a gesh. There is mm. a break in the storm and a blast of light suddenly shines and illuminates in the distance. What you can see is a cliff face built into a rocky uh, outpost near the dunes, a little bit to the west, and you can see that there are tunnels riddled into it. And at Bethany, you suddenly have a very strong feeling that Beth, that your friend Frizo is there. I have a very strong feeling that Frizo is there. With just a feeling? Mm, well, it's never just a feeling. You shouldn't ignore your feelings, Bushu. For anything. Whatever, or anyway. I don't know what you're talking about. Fine, 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 fine. Um, hey, Floofs. Um, let's go and pick up my friend. Great idea, Han. <laughs> I. Oh, we're going to have to have a talk when we're not so busy later. Um, uh, so, Bushu will. You're in the, so, you don't know how long the Eye of the Storm will last, how, when it will collapse, but for now, it seems quite safe. So, if. if Cliff within the Eye? Yes. If Bethany's on floor, what, what, what is it? I turned this jelly bean uh, holder upside down, so it'd be like, oh, we know there's no more jelly beans, so you won't reach into it. And then Al looked at it and just looked underneath it to check for jelly beans. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was Alex has had too many jelly beans, so you flipped it over to stop me from getting to the jelly beans. <laughs> What would you have done if we picked it up and just jelly beans went everywhere? <laughs> well, there are a lot of dice everywhere. I mean, <laughs> um. Bushu jumps on the back of Kit's motorcycle. Yes, the only one that's still working. And Bethany is going to ride floofs. Hell yeah. Ha, her, silver, away. 
Okay, you make your way um, towards the cliff face, and as you get closer, you realise that the dark splotches in it are indeed tunnels that are wormed into the side of the cliffs. And who's leading? Probably me. So, Lutes. Bethany, as you get down, make a perception check for me as you dismount by the hole. Uh, five. Ugh. All right, you don't. There's nothing else I can tell you. But the tunnels are big enough for you to comfortably walk in. They're quite. Large. And it will give a shelter from the rest of the sandstorm? Very likely, but also Bethany has had a flash of um, some kind of sensation that tells her that Frieza was in there. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Okay. Who's, who's going is in? Is the first? wasp just gone? You know, not that you can tell, but yeah, you, could, you can't see any sign of the wasp. Okay. Well, um, everyone, are we going to get off our motorbikes? Can we go into the Yeah, tunnel? you can't drive. Wheel them in. You can't really wheel them in. So oh, they won't fit a motorbike? Well, I mean, if you can, there's no surprise. It's going to be difficult to find. You can. You but... could, like, put it in out of the storm, though. Oh, yeah, just just inside. Yeah, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah fine. just in, yeah. Into, the, into the hallway. A horse walk through it? <laughs> okay. A horse cannot walk through. Hey, Floofs, um, I'm finished with you now because I'm the boss, and that's why I get to call you whatever I want. It's not a reciprocal relationship. <laughs> See you next time. Now, get out of here. Is this big nightmare horse dick hard after that? Is that what he's into? Huh? Okay, sorry. I'm really glad the horse is not being played by him. That's all I'll say. <laughs> yeah, right. As you make your way in with Bethany still leading, it gets dark very quickly. Who has dark vision? Me. Me. Excellent. I've got the robe of many eyes. You do, so... Yeah. I can see all that shit anyway. You all have dark vision in that case. Um, after a few feet... The sand gives way to a kind of strange amber resin. The walls become very, very hard, and they feel almost sort of plasticky to the touch, as if they've been moulded out of something, but they're still very organic. Um, uh, oh, are we in a wasp's nest? Are we right in the hive of the wasp? After a few more feet, you walk into a cavern that is... Um, you realise just the bottom floor of a huge mesh of honeycombed caverns and pathways and passages and nooks that fill the entire rocky outpost, which is hollow, and you can feel you can feel the reverberation of humming in the air as it occurs to you that you are possibly in a wasp nest. Okay. But you still feel stronger than ever that Frizo is near. I know Frizo is in here. And it makes sense if the wasp was grabbing him, but we have to make no sudden movements. I just realised halfway through speaking, I don't know what wasps can do and cannot do. Um. Okay, well, they pro do they have ears? They can probably hear us, right? <laughs> make for me. Uh, if you, Anyone can make wisdom checks if they want. Oh, yeah. Go on. So wasps are uh, vulnerable to fire, they are immune generally to cold. They communicate. These are hell wasps. They communicate telepathically. There's the wasps. Wasps like this travel in small groups of about you know, ten to twenty um, in a hive, as opposed to hundreds. Um, but they are magical infernal fiends. Oi, 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 oi! I hate wasps. Do you have any sense where Frieza is? Do I? Can I do a perception check or something? You just... Yeah, um... Can I no, I'll tell you. Yeah, you can investigate. Let's see what's on this level. Are you being stealthy? Uh... Yeah, my investigation is... Nine, and my stealth is... Sixteen. Sixteen, okay. Bushu creeps forward and manages to avoid stepping in some of the garbage that is actually accumulated at the bottom of the hive. This looks like small bits of rusted armour, bones, some human, some humanoid, some other. Uh, all of them dripping in ichor. And as you investigate around, you actually look and you put your hand up telling everyone else not to come closer before you dip your hand into a, another pile of effluvia and you pull out a backpack. Ooh, what's which in the backpack? Isn't, which isn't Frizo's backpack. It's, oh, it's not. So it doesn't look like this is Frizo's dead body. No. Okay, great. What's in the backpack? Uh, you open it up and you can see a healing kit that was is tightly wound and looks okay, and Ooh. a potion uh, of red liquid that you recognise as a potion of greater healing. Ooh. And also a wand case. Ooh, a wand. 
Ooh. And a little case with an ivory wand down. Ooh. Ooh. Um, potion of greater healing. Phoenix feather in an ivory wand. This has been in the family for years. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, and that's... Now, again, to describe this, you would probably need to get up about 25 feet to get to the next level of... of small rooms, and then it looks like there's another room. It repeats about three times up there. So there's about three levels above you of this of this nest. Down here, this looks like where just like the wreckage Meeting floor. The, um, accumulates. No, this is more like the garbage dump of the hive. And also where they, how they enter and exit the, the, the hive nest. Um, and because they're wasps, there's not staircases or anything. It's just a big honeycomb structure with these ribbed sort of circular floors around each stage. Could we climb the honeycomb? Yeah, it's kind of surprisingly sort of springy at the touch, and there are things that you could find as handholds. Okay, let's climb up to the next level. Yeah. Is everybody going to climb? Yep. Yeah. Do we use ac uh, athletics or acrobatic? Athletics. Yes. Athletics. Woohoo, I nailed it completely. What did you roll? 20, 25. Oh, very good. I got 15. I got 24. Okay, great. And now, because Bethany... No, Boucher, you're leading. Make a stealth check for everyone. Oh, i got to be stealthy. What's my stealth even? Yeah, I'm probably the fastest climber. Plus two, yeah. Kit would well, just tell me if Kit's leading. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Kit, I think he would because yeah, I get, Kit, like, yeah. I've got like super speed. Like, Kit. Super... Yeah, make a stealth check. Oh, that's Nat 20. 20. Okay. Um, sorry, for, we'll get to you soon, Freezer. Um, the... You climb up to the next level of the nest, and Boucher, you crack your head over to the basically the precipice of the next level of honeycombed little sconces, and you can see a larger nook um, on this level. And on it, you can see scurrying around, feeding with their backs to you, and how they haven't noticed you, are two figures of two hell wasps so possibly the one you saw before but also another one but beyond them you can see a slim figure of what looks like an elf um shining in some armor who is waving at you from between them who seems to because of their position have spotted you the bugs have not noticed you they're half trapped in the amber of the walls how close are they together they're the, about... The bugs are trapped in the amber of the wall? No, so the bugs are between you and this oh, figure okay. who is half trapped in the amber of the wall and is weakly waving at you. How, cl how close are the wasps together? About 10 feet. Oh, that's not for no So not very far from each other at all. But not close enough to... Okay, I'm going to chromatic orb them. <laughs> okay, you know how... All right, so you're going to start combat with Wait, wait, wait. Wait, so are they trapped in the wall? Or are they... No, not at all. The person is trapped. The, 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 the... Well, the wasps oh. are going to try and kill us, right? Should we tr I, mean, I guess so. We could just wait to see if they go away. <laughs> no, I don't think they'll go away. This seems to be their, their house. house. Yeah. Okay, I'm chromatic orbing them. Okay. Why would they leave their house? It's so nice here. Also, the, yeah, there's a storm outside. Okay, I'm making an attack roll. I'm doing it. All right, go for it. Uh, what's the armor class? The armor class. The um, One of them... Um, well, which one are you attacking? The small one or the big one? The smaller one. Okay, well, what did you roll? I rolled 8 plus 6 is 14. 14 does not do it, I'm afraid. Oh, no. Spells are so hard to hit with, Dave. Uh, but they turn around and they screech as <sighs> a huge blast of a chromatic orb fires at them. But because you all have the drop on them, it's a surprise round. So you can all take an action. Should have vomited on them. That would have been better. That would have told them a lesson. That would have told them. So Kit, you're up next. I'm, the, I'm next. Okay. I'm going to um, throw my javelin of lightning. Uh, Zap. <laughs> Well, Just for being so stealthy at first, yeah, yeah, now, they, they are angled in a position that you could you could probably try to prank them both with the with the javelin. Okay, that was a two though. So, uh, sorry, that was a two for the you get so the back one you're going to miss, um, but you can roll for the one in in front as oh, well. Oh, okay, that's an eleven plus. Small ones in the front. Sorry, guys. Where were you looking for? Oh, your javelin of lightning. Yeah, do I it's get just a... your strength plus your oh, strength. proficiency. Strength. So it's plus six. So uh, it's a 17. That hits. Okay. <coughs> um, 46. 46? 46. 46. Oh, wait. No, they have to make a, a DC 13 dexterity saving throw. Oh, that's right. Sorry. Yeah. So I'm actually wrong. So you didn't. They might, you, you always might hit. hit. You might hit both of them. 
Um, first one misses, and the second one misses. Okay, so they each take 6, 12, 16, 17 uh, lightning damage. Lightning damage they're not resistant to, so that does a lot of damage. Yeah. That's all right. And so they both look in very charred as the room starts to smell with of burning bug. And Bethany, you're up. Um, I'm going to cast... Um, oh, no, they're, ne- they're nearly dead. How, how close, how oh, bad no, no, do they no, look? No. Not that bad. Could I cast sleep on them? Would that work on a wasp? You could try their big monsters. It normally only works on humanoids. Okay. Oh, actually, it also, yeah. It's yeah. Um, I was flicking through my spell book and I thought it said old person. <laughs> Uh, but unfortunately, it's old person. Oh, that so. is sad. That is sad. That is, <laughs> is there an old person skill? There is not an old person. I cast old person. <laughs> and an old person. <laughs> 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 and they smell very poorly. <laughs> so, I mean, the summon old person, I suppose, could be a spell. Yeah, In many ways, a, ne- a necromancer is a type of person. <laughs> yeah. Summon old person. Um, all right. In that case, because I didn't get to use my branding smite before, I'm going to use that now is on... It? My glaive. Yep. And I'm gonna use my. I can throw my glaive, can't I? You can, but it'll do better if you if you attack. Just with use it. it to whack. Okay. Well, I'll I'll run up and I'll uh, get. I want to aim for uh, behind their neck. Uh, on their where its neck would be. The small one. Oh, the one. In yeah. between the head and the thorax. Yeah, yeah man. That's the, the neck. The that's, neck. That's oh, what yeah. you were saying. Yeah. <laughs> small one or the big one? Small. All right. Go for it. Hiya. And I get two attacks, right? You do. Woohoo. All right, so I get uh, 18. Yes. And yeah, do the damage. 14. Oh, 18 and 14. Yeah. Yeah, um, oh no, only one hit, sorry. Okay, uh, and then... Did you steal my D10, David? I did steal your oh, D10, but I have many dice here. Would you like... One D10. You are eight welcome, Eight plus Dave. three, nine, ten, eleven. All right, um, you run forward, plus D6 because it's a smite. Oh, Yeah. No, it's 2d6 because it's my branding spell. Oh, if it's fire, it's nice. 3d6. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Fire. The wasps hate fire. Six. Okay. Uh, Bethany runs forward with her glaive, and the, as the pe- strength of Pelor, it, se- Pelor, it seems, does still shine through her, although in nice. some ways perverted by Vernus, she bisects the uh, insect, and it screams, and it collapses into a puddle of demonic ichor. And then the remaining hell wasp attacks you, Bethany. Uh oh! Whatever, bring it on! I'm already in hell. And it, <laughs> its stinger attacks you for armor class eighteen. Yes, well, my armor class is ten. No, sixteen. Sorry. Oh, we've got to change, fix that. All right, make 16, a DC. Right? Make a DC twelve. I know it is ten. Cool. What? Um, you don't, you don't want to be paralyzed like King was. No, I don't. No, no, uh, that's no, no. D twenty, but you got to get twelve. Oh, right. <laughs> S- what do I add? You want to beat 12? Uh, six. All right. Uh, it punches, punctures you with its stinger, and your, you can feel your limbs start to stiffen as you take eight hit points of damage. Ow. But its other attack misses, and now, Boucher, you're up. Ooh. How far away? It's right in front of you. Okay, I'm going to do uh, Acid Splash. She's going to make a deck saving throw. Okay. He- Is that going to hit Bethany as well, though? Yeah, because she's paralyzed, she won't be able to get away from it. Uh, oh, you can angle it. Yeah, I can. I can just yeah. Anyway, it misses. Misses, and it takes oh ten plus thirteen damage. Thirteen damage. Abushu races forward and melts it with acid yeah. as it collapses into Ica as well, at, just as Bethany locks up into paralysis <gasps> in front of the figure. Oh, is it Frieza? As you get closer, you see that it is not the person. As you get closer and closer, though the light is low, the figure is in the armor of a paladin of Pelor. It's not Ooh, freezing. Oh, it's not freezing. And there's something very strange about the way that they're waving towards you. Okay, I guess we'll go talk to them. You're just leaving Bethany on the ground? Yeah, she'll be fine. Well, I'm going to scoop her up. Okay, we going to bring okay. her with us. Yeah. If you want to make a medicine check. Oh, I've got a little. I've got a little medicine kit. That's a, f- a 14 plus. That's a 13. Okay, using Bushu's kit, you're able to stabilize her in the the paralysis starts to wear off. Oh, that's good. So Bethany can get up again. Great. Okay. While that's happening, Bushu, you walk towards the figure who is not Frizo. Um, uh, hello. How, how are you today? They're not saying anything. Wake He's up. Waiting. It looks like they're holding something in their hand. What is it? You going to go have a look? Yeah, I'm investigating. Okay, make for me a dexterity save. Uh-oh. Uh, dex. 15, you need to be. 15. Okay. Uh, Bushu reaches forward as the figure seems to hold something up, and then through their palm, a 
centipede-like larvae bursts through the skin. Oh, great. You realize that this is a dead paladin, a paladin's body, and the stomach is sort of distended, and it's full of larvae. Ah, uh, the uh, old men in black trick. Oh, uh, yuck, yuck. But it tries to bite at you, but you pull oh. it back Oh, it's like a zombie. And as you do, you sort of whack it, and it's the helmet um, comes off the belt buckle, sort of breaks as, as the body sort of slumps forward, causing its sword and its scabbard to sort of skitter to the ground. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's full of... Is Are there more... Are, are the yeah, things? it's got these little larvae bursting. Oh, all, all I'll, I'll, acid, ah. I'll acid it again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you just burn away the larvae? Yeah, and grab the... So it's a sword and a helmet? It's a sword belt, <coughs> a sword, a scabbard, and a helmet. Yeah, and as you pull it out, you realize that the sword belt <gasps> has a... Um. Um. A. What, 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 what's hap- What's happening? <laughs> Nothing. Uh, Nothing. We're just having a chat with the chat. Um, my aura of protection. Uh, thingy. Give oh, so yeah, you days. you were never paralyzed. Oh, does it work on myself? Yeah. Does it? It will say. Pretty sure. Including me. Yeah. Oh, I'm back, baby. Yeah. You just <laughs> pretended to be paralyzed. Yeah, it was a in that case, like so Bethany, a very unparalyzed Bethany, you can walk over and have a look if you want, because this is all Paleorian gear. Yeah, I do. I want to poke it. <laughs> it's in yeah. Pelorian gear. So the breastplate is ruined, but as you pull out the scabbard, you can see that it's a silvered longsword, and Ooh. it has, um, and it's, it's you recognise it. It's like of Hestavar make. It's from Elysium. Oh, and the pinned near the buckle of the sword belt, you can see is the holy symbol that the paladin had, which is made of platinum, and it's the Dawnfather's crest. But it, something for some reason has also cut deep scar marks into it in the shape of an X. Hell no one. Uh, What's that all about? This I, f- I feel like this is in your lane. I feel like, I feel like this is for <laughs> you. Um, I, can I do a, like a religion check to yep. see what I can find? Yep. 18. It looks like it has um, come through the fires of Avernus still whole. It's a effective symbol of pal- uh, Paler. Obviously, it so p- was not powerful enough to protect this paladin, but it still works. But I got my own. Yeah. You can have it. <laughs> okay. I got my cog son, man. I want all that trash, all that stuff you could buy in the souvenir shop back in Elysium. No thanks. For me, I only want, I'm an authentic Paylor person now. If Paylor wants to give me something, it, it'll, you know, appear in nature or something. Bethany cool throws like it that. away. Does anyone want it? Well, like, uh, uh, if Paylor wanted you to have it, maybe he'd put it on a uh, corpse uh, that you happened upon in a hornet's nest. It's not like a, this is exactly a gift store where you uh, can spend your pocket money. I guess we'll never know. I'll take it. You have it, Do You want it? Well, you can have that, and I'll keep the sword and the uh, and the helmet. Of course, you get the sword. You, so that's a silvered long sword. Does the helmet fit? Well, then I don't, what do I get? Does it put on my? <laughs> does it fit you originally on? had it all, so yeah. I, no, I was like, oh, you can. I was giving you the sword and the thing, but you're like, no, I only have authentic. No, well, I, was, I only uh, eat organic. Come long on, swords. I wasn't saying that. Um, <sighs> okay, well, no, look, that's looks cool. to me like silver in this demon-infested land. Uh, I would. Suggest that somebody pick it up. Who wants to use the you sword? You have a bushu. You're a bit of a I'd coward. Like, can you I use the need... sword? Hey, what? There's a clearing of a throat, <laughs> and then you what? look around and into another one of the honeycombs as a figure s- lurches forward who has been slowly making their way through that honeycomb very cl- <laughs> slowly and painfully towards you. Can I just say that um, since bees make honey, um, it's not a honeycomb, it's whatever wasps make in this Yeah, it's a, it's a resin cone because it's made out of that amber okay, resin. Cool, cool, cool. And it is dripping in blood... When very few hit points, it is the figure of Frieza. Frieza! Frieza! The fight and made his way through. Uh, how many points am I on, Dave? Well, you. how many were you on before you were paralyzed? 24. Oh, uh, then you probably have lost another 2d6, I would say, from the journey. So you're not in as bad shape as I thought. You um, are on 16 hit points. Okay. But you are feeling still like... Um, pretty worse for wear. The poison has worn off. The paralysis has worn off. You woke up after your vision. So how long? How long was I poisoned for? Um, what did this fucking guy do for me? He brought you here. The the, the demon I spoke to. So yeah, he uh, he would say that the wasp was going to kill and eat you. Right. And he convinced the wasp to bring you and deposit you in a larder inside the hive. Right. Okay. And then also told your friends where they were, where you were. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I mean, take it up with him if you want, but... 
funny that uh, we're, we're looting a corpse and here you are, right on time. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know what's going on. I, uh, what happened? How I, come the wasp didn't eat you? I think I, uh, I met a devil. <laughs> What? Uh, what? Yeah, and uh, I think I signed a contract. There's going to be someone I'm going to have to uh, betray later on, I think. Uh, but so when it happens, no, no one get mad. I already agreed to it, so <laughs> I don't, you can't you can't get mad. Wait, I've already warned you. It's we can't happen. get mad because it's something that you, you've warned us about. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Wait, are you going to betray us? No, it's not you guys. I think it's someone else. Someone's going to ask me for help, and I've got to turn them away. Uh, okay, take make for me a Constitution save. Uh, 18, 19. All right. Um. Uh oh, uh, looks like you're doing some damage, bruh. No. Oh. Well, 15. But you you pass the test. So you take nine hit points of damage. Oh no, that's from. You're breaking a uh, a geish spell. Because why, why am I breaking the geish spell? Because you're trying to help. You're trying to alleviate yourself from the effects of it. So anytime oh. that you do anything that minimizes your ability to perform it. This is like an old magic in the oh, world. Oh, fuck. I didn't know that. No, no, no. You didn't. He didn't tell you. It's a learning moment. Oh. It was probably in the fine print if you so, read So it. as you start telling them that you're going to do this, you start vomiting blood. Okay. Oh, well. Uh, looks this... like once again you've made a great choice, Freezer. Yeah, this is fucked. <laughs> well done. I didn't realize it, but in many ways this is, this is another curse, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Does Frieza know what's happening? Do yeah, what's happening? you work it out. Okay. Well, Frieza, you are a true soup sack of curses. So if you <laughs> if you try to do anything to stop it from happening, if you, for instance, try to not let them tell you that they need help, if you try to get your friends to stop you, if you give people information that will interfere with it, and the curse is intelligent, it will make decisions that you you are trying to frustrate it. All right. You will take a Constitution yes. save, and if you will take five d six damage or yes. half Ugh. on a success. Okay. You're not looking very good there, buddy. Um, do you have any healing potions or anything, or do you want me? No, to I'm. I'm no, no, I'm fine. Let's just get out of here. <laughs> Butchu has one. I have. I don't know what you're talking about. Does this helmet look good on me? Uh, actually, given that helmet, it actually really does. I need to borrow it for a second. Does it fit on my head, Dave? Uh, nothing really horns. fits under your head. <laughs> Can't claw. May I? May I? You have horns too. Does may I borrow a, that for a second? Does it fit on a cat head? I scoop up the ichor from the demon hornets uh, into fill up the helmet with it. Uh, and I say, uh, ladies and gentlemen, let us be quiet and return to our vehicle. At, so we may wait till the storm passes and then leave here as quickly as possible. Very good. So you start to head back downstairs. You took the sword, is that correct? Who took the sword? I, I have the sword. You, can have it. you took the sword, so you can write that down. That's a silver plus one magical longsword. Um, the holy symbol is worth 500 gold pieces. Um, so you can write that down as well. Yeah, I knew and that you was... have a helmet full of demon ichor. Would does it, that and does it actually fit on my head? Does Sorry, it... is it actually would it, would it fit on my head? <laughs> yeah, but I, I have to tell you, you've just filled it with demon ichor. I know. I'm going to try it on later. Yeah. It, well, maybe you should have tried it on first. You would have <laughs> that answer. Um, what about? Because he was a big boy. Would the holy symbol By actually have flare. worked better than my cog? Oh, no, they will both work. It's really up to you. Mm-hmm. I got it anyway. But you're more of like an Etsy chick now. Yeah, I'm not going in for all that store bought <laughs> Paylor stuff. Like me, the I only reason it's expensive is because I said it was made of platinum, which is like. Oh right, yeah, cool, cool, cool. And seeing as we're pretty poor in this world, hopefully that'll come in handy. We can trade it to someone, mm. something. Yeah. All right, so you make your way back down, and the buzzing starts to abate as you climb down. Everybody, make for me athletics checks again, unless um, you want to give up a rope. I'm good. Uh, what do I have to uh, do? No. A 12. A 15, sorry, yeah. Oh, I, I get a 5 and I'll just uh, cast... 14. I'll cast Featherfall on myself. All right, so if, you, if you're <laughs> casting Featherfall, so anyone who fails, you will sink down onto the floor as you la, make la, your way la, la, la. <laughs> back outside. And as you can see now that the wall, that the eye of the storm is starting to close again as the walls of dust on all sides are getting closer and closer. Um, but you probably you have enough time to still get back to your to the bikes and if you want to. But on that ground level... Yeah, you're, you're but just, we don't want to head back out. We don't want to go into the storm. storm. No, we're going to wait out the and storm our in there. Bike is busted anyway. We have one good bike. Yeah, but we can't. We can't fit on that. Or maybe oh. we can go on the steed as well. I but guess. I could maybe go into my little my little guy yeah. form. Let's just wait out the storm anyway. Yeah, maybe we, we should, wait out. Maybe we should have a rest here. 
Okay, and deep inside a hell wasp nest, one of just the many pedestrian horrors of both nightmarish and disgusting that await you on Avernus Blasted First Circle of Hell. The dragon friends are waiting in a tomb of amber and maggots with a new bucket of goop and a magic sword and a song in their hearts and a fancy black horse and their friend, Frizo, who is now a host to many magical magics. <laughs> and a few just garden variety normal ones <laughs> as they continue on their way on a quest which once held such promise but now seems to be little more than getting back where they came from the two Elysium, land of the gods and those poor sorry fools they called the beef babes thank you thank, thank you, you Dave thank you thank you, thank you Dave thank you chat toes um, if you're just joining us that's just the- call them chat Toads. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Chat Toads. Good work, my chat beautiful toads. Chat Toads. Rise up, Dave. 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 Um, so apologies for the t- technical difficulties at the beginning. Yeah. It will never happen again until next week when it will inevitably happen. Hey, again. Chat Toads. Chat Toads. Chat toads. Let's get some Chat Toads going. Chat. In the chat. Ja- Dave. 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 <laughs> Dave. Dave. <laughs> we are particularly because of the chaotic beginning. We'll mm. definitely got some time for Q and A. So if anybody has any questions yeah or we can just play charades or we can play long. charades do you want more bit. charades do you know what we I'm can going do charades. to give Eden and Alex back their jelly beans yay uh, finished <laughs> 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 I'm going to murder you <laughs> sorry Dave I'll eat them for safety there you uh, go <laughs> I'll eat them for safety. Do I have any tips for new DMs? <laughs> like, <laughs> don't play with these motherfuckers. <laughs> How are you guys playing charades? I was trying to fix the sound. So we okay, you got to do one, Dave. We all did charades. We give you one and you yeah. got to do it. No, no, but the sound's on now. The sound's so on now, get it. so we can't. Did, oh, we'll do it. So you have to make it up. What? you got to make up. Well, we were doing it before we were doing it as a team. But, and then, 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 but they couldn't. Yeah, then they Just a, like a movie or something? Yeah, but they couldn't But they couldn't hear us, so we were talking. We've already done Shawshank, Shawshank Redemption and Dunstan Checks In. Yeah, and the sisterhood of the traveling pants, and, and dances with wolves, and Jurassic Park, and Black Swan. Wow, we've okay, got one. For ages. <laughs> no, I don't have one. Um... No, Hing couldn't think of one book. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I, ke- I kept thinking of like D and D related ones. That was like Lord of the Rings and like the. S- s- that would have been. A, that's a great and legitimate charades choice. Yeah, but then I was like, that's gonna be too D and D, you know. Oh wow, you never think everything, hey? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm very depressed. <laughs> Okay, Dave, you got a book or a thing? A book or a thing? Or a person. Or a person. Okay. Um, all right, I've got... Um, Don't tell us. you got to charade it. Okay, I'm just trying to... Have you ever played charades before? Yeah, yeah, but the problem is... It's, it's not a super Australian game, though. It's like no, not a party it's game. it's very much a North yeah. American really and, and European thing more than Australian. You mentioned leveling up early. Is that going to happen anytime soon, both the stream and podcast? Uh, actually, do you know what? Yes, I've been meaning to do that for a while... And the podcast is is already a level ahead. So for beating the Hell Wasp and uh, Hell Wasps and while you guys sleep, you all gain a level. So come to the next week with another level, Woo-hoo! which gives you a level well, seven. Bethany a chance to respec into a paladin of vengeance. Oh baby! Dedicated to th- overthrowing. Yeah, we've done a lot of fighting, haven't we? It's about level seven. Yeah, definitely. No, the three hell wasps as well. They're challenging. Yeah, we killed five. that massive biker guy as well. That biker yeah. boss. Yeah. And we also haven't leveled up since we were in Elysium. Yeah, yeah. We did no, all of that. So yeah, stuff. but thank you for reminding me. Yeah, this is this is a good level up. I think. Also, the podcast is coming out again tomorrow. We took oh, a week a off. One. So it's sorry. A really good one, I think. It's um, it's the aftermath of a musical theater adventure. It's the after party. Most of it is the after party of going to a musical theater. <laughs> yes, they're the best after parties. Musical theater ones. All right, so yeah, that's a Randy from all the music. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's singing their feelings. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you know what that thing? Oh wait, go- Dave's gonna do oh, it. Oh, Dave's a doing TV a charade. Oh, uh, TV, TV show. TV show. Okay. How many words? Two words. Two words. Mad Men. First, First word. word. Big explosion. Expansion. Two. two. Second two. word. Two. Made this too easy. <laughs> big Bang. Big the Big bang. bang Theory. That's three words. Big Mouth. mouth. Big Mouth. Yeah. Big, oh, mouth. Dave's big, big mouth. mouth. That was too easy. That was easy. <laughs> Fuck check. Coriolis, Dave, two levels. I mean, that's that's. I'm that's not giving wild. two levels. No, oh, not, 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 in, the, not in a go. Is the yeah. after party in the green out room? No, the after party is... The oh, green out room. Socks. I've got black socks, that's all. I'm wearing uh, Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus socks. Oh, oh that's wild, man. Mm. I'm new to D&D, so I haven't played it. Properly, honestly, to Red be boys. wondering how much do you have to, 
have to made up about your character? Not much. Just you guys just made up new characters. How do you? Yeah. I think yeah. you mm. you think you can make it up in game, like make it up as you go along, have yeah. a general idea, yeah. and then like do some role playing around like at the tavern or whatever, where you ask your fellow players where they grew up and just make it up then. Yeah. D and D Beyond actually has a lot of clever things built in to actually make you answer some big sort of character building questions. Like I'd never done it with D and D Beyond before doing this stream Ooh. and that was really, mm. really helpful. Yeah, in the player's handbook there's also like backgrounds that you can mm. yeah. that yeah. you can ch- check like yeah, just do a combo yeah. of those. And you, you can think about characters you like in T V shows or movies that you think are really cool and, you know, kind of think about what sort of complexities they yeah. have. And at yeah. the end of the day, just be yourself. And then you'll always know the Actually, answer. no, no. The point of d is to not be <laughs> Yeah, yourself. do anything but that. That is yeah. exactly all that I do. <laughs> <laughs> By default, I can't help it. Yeah, but it's like, uh, you know, you're not playing exactly yourself because if you were exactly playing yourself, you'd be like, all right, kids, time for dinner. But you're not doing that. You're doing flips and stuff. You know? In many ways, getting kids ready for dinner is a real that's thing of that, a real adventure. That's the, that's the real adventure. <laughs> that's the mask I wear every day. Um, <laughs> anyone else got anything to report? Anyone started in the newsletter? Anybody? Um... Um, well, we'll be at PAX Australia. Oh, yeah, PAX Australia. Oh, yeah, when are we announcing our secret show? Um, maybe tomorrow. I've got to lock it in. Oh, yeah, yeah, we talked oh, about yeah. this last oh, week. We're yeah. doing a secret show. Details to come. It's a yeah. secret, yeah. but we'll tell everyone about it. We need people to come. Oh, that's a fun question. Goes by bees. What parts of yourselves are most in your characters? Why don't we start with you, Frizo? Um, I feel like I was thinking about this today. Uh, I think Frizo's uh, he's he's a combination of the the false wokeness that I think all of us have. <laughs> What do you mean by that? Oh, 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 just speak for yourself. Just yeah. speak for yourself, right? Wokeness, but like this, I guess it's not Also, really in what way is Frizo woke? Yeah. It's like this, it's like, you know, he's like... <laughs> oh, maybe, maybe, Very maybe rude. Really par- maybe it's not really a parody of me. It's like a parody of like that thing that is like... Uh, oh, I don't fucking know. Look, let's be honest. It's uh, freeze, The Frizo hink conundrum is, is a tough one for him to answer. Yeah, that was... All I of didn't, us. I Best not delving that. too deeply. <laughs> um... I guess Bethany smiles. Oh. Always trying to put a positive spin on things. This I feel like I'm in therapy all of a sudden. I think the thing that yeah, Alex done to us this doesn't feel we'll good. Do it for each other. Uh, no, I think one of the things that's really interesting that's that's fun about your characters is you play two very, very different characters, but your characters always sort of just take charge in very different ways using the skills that they have, which I always quite like. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Um Aiden's character contains his love of mid-century American oh, furniture. Oh, man, those lines. Just, just Do you have an Eames polished chair? wood? Not yet. <laughs> I don't know. Do they throw Eames chairs out on, uh, in front of people's houses that- to get rid of them? <laughs> and play- then Aiden can house with the furniture. I love that you have to play a fantasy role-playing game to get the type of furniture that you can't <laughs> yeah, afford in that's real life. Yeah, that's it. I'd be like, oof. Oh, I've just got a prairie house. <laughs> See, I've, got, I've got a question for your characters. You oh, ask... I was just going to answer mine, but that's okay. Oh, sorry. So no. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Simon. I know, right? You fine. already said that they were just yourself. <laughs> well, no. It, well, yes, that's true. But I think somebody maybe goes by being said it in a, a, two streams ago. It was like, all of Simon's characters are super chill until they're not. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's very true. Yeah. Which is kind of like me. No, but I, I, <laughs> I find the interesting thing about playing Dungeons & Dragons, with uh, play, having played with many people, is... This thanks, Jordan. No, <laughs> I mean, a cat. no, but like the like as much as you play a character, there it always reveals kind of a truth about the person, like mm. something true yeah. and authentic wheedles its way so out. Yeah. Yeah, 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 um, which is like a, a, more revealing in a way. Yeah. Well, so for instance, Bobby, I really wanted Bobby to be a werewolf, and since he became a werewolf, he hasn't really done very much with it, which I think <laughs> speaks to my desire to really run wild, but. Probably when it comes happy, to happy, it. Happy, yeah. Yeah. probably stay at home. Yeah. I think it's a relief to play Filge because she's so much more decisive than I am. Like I never actually have to think about what Filge is going to do. I know I kind of know what she's going to do instinctively. Whereas with me, I'm always like, oh, which one? Oh God! Oh, oh. Me yeah. meow, me meow. Me, yeah. What is that from? Me. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's from Dragon Friend. Oh yeah, that's from Dragon. Comes weird song. <laughs> me ow. Me? Uh, the question uh, I was going to ask was, and I would kind of know the answer for Bushu, but if you want to do it with any of your other characters, maybe starting with you, Simon, mm-hmm. is <laughs> after adventuring, what type of house would your character like <laughs> go away and start? What, what would their living situation be like? What kind of house? Like, like or, or like, job or, or, you know, 
just would they check into a hotel and never leave? Like, what? How? Where would uh, they go? Yeah. What do you do after your body has given up and you can no longer be a professional footballer? What am I putting it? Or adventurer. Or adventurer. Is that what Baston's doing after? Y- being yeah. <laughs> He's getting into coaching. Yeah, I think that's interesting. I think Kit. I think. Yeah, this is where both of my characters are just like me. Would just want to like. Settle down and do something nice. He's going to have a big <laughs> plantation house. And oh, my God. Is he going to have baby cats? Yeah, have kittens. Oh, oh. gross. You'd have so many. <laughs> gross. You find, you find kittens gross? Yeah. Ugh, they're all slimy. Have you ever seen Milo and Otis? Oh, yeah. That when the movie is yeah, yeah, yeah. locked. Well, yeah. I mean, the, they we haven't gone that much of it into Kit's backstory. <laughs> but I think, yeah, Kit's basically come from, like, a really bad situation and is just probably just, is always striving, I think, to, like, be better and have more control and and just up and up so yeah someone's got to tell them the control is an illusion man you know (laughs) all there is is change what does that mean namaste (laughs) oh boy bobby's a painter was bobby a painter Mm, Bobby. Vincent I know Bobby had opinions about art because he thought yeah. Vincent Van because Bobby. he's he's just me. <laughs> 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 I like to think Phil would uh, create like a community drop-in center for troubled uh, young orcs. orcs and goblins. Oh yeah, you that's know? a cool idea. And she could just like hang out with them and show them cool moves and um, you know teach them how to do fermentation. <laughs> And do craft projects. Lacto fermentation. I don't know. I'm interested Wait, in that. What's lacto fermentation? Like um, that's milk, right? Like yogurt yeah, and stuff. Imagine. Cheeses. Oh no, I'll stick to the other kind. <laughs> Beer. 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 <laughs> I feel like the dragon friends are pretty codependent at mm. this point. So something really big would have to happen that they wouldn't just like keep hanging out in some version. Mm. Yeah. 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 Which is funny because you forget that at the end of season one they all went away, which sort of made sense at that point in their lives. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we'd open a little bakery cafe together. All of us. Mm, also a bookshop. Yeah, with a little bookshop in it. Oh, there. wouldn't mind that. <laughs> I could see <laughs> Baston's <laughs> dojo. I, I could see him becoming <laughs> either a martial arts teacher or a hairdresser. When you said a foot when you said a football coach, I kind of imagine like a whole Friday night lights season yes. with Baston's back to a small town. Yeah. <laughs> Teachers high school have had a kick. Oh my God, can I play high school? Should we do that for yeah, the next that's stream? That's a great one. Oh. Teachers just to believe in themselves. Yeah. Oh my god, I want to be a troubled teen. <laughs> We, oh, we should definitely. Some. You're the best. <laughs> we, we should definitely do a kind of yes. young, yeah, like a, a troubled teens. Let's go to to the quarry and find a body. Start adventure. Oh, that would be fun. Yeah, yeah, nice. And what about Frizo? I I feel like that was kind of decided for him when he when he went and made that tower and stuff. I feel like that was sort of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that was probably it in season four. Yeah. So what does he got to live for now then? Well, not much. I mean, he's he, he's very. I think he's. I think Frieza is quite depressed, uh, and he's sort of lashing out at the world. I think that's kind. That kind of is the vibe he's giving off. I think. Oh uh, yeah. So what's his happy ending? I don't think. I mean, honestly, tentacles. I don't think. He, I don't There's think. A he lot ha- of I don't, tentacles I don't think wrapped around his neck. Yeah, I don't he's think. You got a lot of bravura in Elysium. Uh, what what's is that? that? Like brav, like braggadocio. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I think he like. I, I don't. I don't think Frieza deserves a happy ending. I think he like is. Wow. I think he's like the worst parts of like the id and like he doesn't. Yeah, it's 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 like anything he does is like. It's like for his own selfish gain and to like win and to like prove himself to like, I guess himself or whatever. And so like I think I think eventually he'll burn himself like out. So follow up question to this because I found that very interesting answer. Do you think Banknote, Lion Shield Banknote, your character in the current podcast season, ah. has a greater capacity for happiness than Frieza? No, I don't think. I mean, I don't think anyone does. <laughs> well, hang on. I don't think either of them do really. Okay, like, either. like banknotes clearly trying to like, and it, like I guess the difference is like Frieza is trying to like justify to himself why he should still exist, and he's like, why do I keep going? Like, what's the point of anything? And banknote is like clearly trying to win the love of a family who's rejected him. I think that's. I think. I think. And I think. And I think neither of those. I think. Either of those courses of action are never going to lead to happiness for either of these characters. So they're both going to end unhappily. Well, we can really learn a lot about ourselves. 
for Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. Well, no, no, it's not about me. I'm very cool. <laughs> I'm very fine, everyone. I'm definitely fine. I deserve happiness. Yeah, no, I, 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 yeah, I'm fine. I'm definitely fine. Do you know what would be a really fun thing that we should do for a one shot? Uh -huh, I like that. Freeze those hings I'd eat and, and bank note is your ego. Um, so you should play your super ego as for your next character. Yeah, that'll just. I, I mean, I don't know what that. I don't know what any of those words mean. <laughs> what is what is a super ego as opposed to an ego? I don't know. I thought isn't it just id ego, it super ego, ego, and the super ego? I, thought, I think I these thought are all that terms was... that have been uh, no. widely discredited <laughs> by, by modern psychology. Who should do to, yeah, yeah, modern psychology. This floof, not... floof the nightmare has uh, strong feelings about. What were you saying? Was a, was a uh, good, would be a good workshop? Car... Before I interrupted. You? Oh, I was just th saying that what would be yeah, <laughs> Bush D two is the super ego. I think Bush is the super ego actually. Oh um, yeah, maybe. Coriolis Davis said, oh, "Do you have any ideas moral. for characters that aren't Frizo?" Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> well, no. What I was going to say, and that oh, it was that actually. Coriolis's idea that made me think a good one shot would be we get fans to make us characters oh, and then yeah. we shuffle them and we all take a character That's and great. everybody plays characters outside their comfort zone. Mm. That's oh, great. Yeah. That's so good. Oh, so we'd have a pile, they'd make them for a specific player. Yeah, so they'd, so they'd, they'd nominate them for a player and give, them, give you a yeah. piece of art and a character and like a brief yeah. description of them. Mm. So Mar that's actually funny. Super ego might be if you did the super ego character, it might actually be a super woke. I think the I, th I think sure. Frizo's like uh, occasional moments of wokeness are like uh, probably that you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah has Frizo ever had like... a redeeming moment? Mm, well, that's no, interesting. Yeah. We're talking about did no, he, he has, sacrifice himself at the end of season three to like? Yeah. But somebody was saying that online in the Dragon Huddle this morning. I think that's today. a very charitable interpretation. Yeah, that's of what, what I happened. was thinking as well. I think he just died trying to do something. I feel like you've done something nice for someone ever. Oh, you did. You know what? You gave Filge... I'm going to stop saying you. Frizo, <laughs> the character, gave Filge a, a, a Christmas present. Oh, yeah. After no, because he was forced, forced him. to. We forced him. It was like <laughs> a, a whole... It was two hours It was of, a show on rails the, yeah. to get Frizo to do a nice thing. <laughs> yeah, that was <laughs> the, the Christmas entire special. thing. And he did it reluctantly. But Frizo also, at the end of the last season, said the decision isn't mine. I don't get a vote. And, and That's true, yeah. Two. So yeah, but I think ultimately that's quite sulky. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's sure. not. It's 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 never. Frizo's never like grace uh, gracious about things. I don't think. And of course, who's to say that Frizo, who at that point had the power of a god, didn't immediately use some kind of mind meld magic to replace his consciousness with Mistra, locking her in his body, and is now already a god pulling the strings of all of you? Impossible no. to say. Oh, oh, oh it's all a point. simulation. <laughs> See Whoa. you next time. Elon Musk was blue right. Pill, blue pill. Blue pill. Blue <laughs> pill. See you next time for a little bit of charades and also oh maybe some Dungeons and Dragons. Final thoughts, anyone? Nope. Peace out. Peace out. Bye. 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 Bye.